Bam. They're all you. <laughs> I may not have opened the door. Right. The red one took a red throw on the bar right there. Oh, red one? The, yep, to the red and black. That, nope, one oh, over. no. Ah, the voice meter. Yeah. It should work after that. Hooray, engine is starting, Tom. Very good. Hardware out. <laughs> there we go. Robots. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mike. Thank you, thank you, Mike. Thank you. Where does he get these? Did Nesgrim die again? Uh, no, he has um, decided to stay behind and assist the protection in the protection of the children in the cave. Um, so he will be there. He's also the only one of them that can get back into the city because he no longer looks like himself because he died and came back and is now 25 years younger and no hey. longer corrupted. Oh, no. Um, so yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah. that's why I want him to go in alone. No, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 no. It's, it's oh, I baited. No. He's already been baited and done. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, Everyone's no. left the cave. His first words in the city were, Hi, I'm an awesome artist. <laughs> <laughs> so, hooray oh, for me. We he, got him. I really forgot I to say, Don't talk to anybody. Nope, nope, nope. What have we done? Yeah, well, if, if only we could contact him. People who are obsessed with immortality. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. He's fine. Hopefully, I receive. 40 years younger. He's not. He's a healthy hopefully man. Soon. Yeah. Hopefully. See, well, God yeah. forbid you spend a spell slot. No, I don't. We're, we're going to the hell. I gotta. Into the hell. We're going, hell. We're going into a horrible spot. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome back to another evening of D and D. Um, we are not great RPG, and we're here once again for the city of Oshwamp. Um, so we'll go around the table real quick, introduce ourselves, and then after a brief recap, we'll pick up where we left off. Last week, as always, I am Don, and I will be playing Ether Revia, the Grave Domain Cleric, for at least this evening, as long as I don't die. Mm-hmm. I'm Paul, I play Felix Gray, uh, the mystical boy. Mm-hmm. That wasn't very original. You got better ones than that, Paul. Come uh, he on. didn't even do it. Like I didn't have anything to like bounce off of, you know. Uh, just, yeah. Are you really gonna do this to me? Yeah. I'm, I'm glad I play McGruff the Crime Dog. <laughs> <laughs> AKA Force. <laughs> Somebody heard that man a detective hat. <laughs> I'm Chal. I play the uh, girl boss in gaslighting uh, friend with the pokey fingers. Mm-hmm. I'm Sarah. Do you it's have really a name? Not good. <laughs> I, I don't. Okay. No. Name. I have no name. Oh, yeah. Do not refer to me. <laughs> 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 I'm Sarah. Uh, it's it's really not fair that I always wind up going last on on these things because yep. I have nothing mm-hmm. nothing to say. You have so many things to say. So, We're here to hear it. Oh mm-hmm. man, um, You're here. speak your truth. As See, Chad I, would say, I, stab I, that man. I feel like I'm with the words on a real thing since yeah. I'm now in. In yeah, the last I feel spot. like it's obli- it's your obligation. <laughs> but I like birds. That's right. I think they are real. So. Elevators. There it is. Birds have never been That's your catchphrase. Yes. I like yeah. birds. They are real. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm playing the Torah. <laughs> Bird Torah. Did we all chant it? Mm-hmm. Yes. Stab that man. Yeah, we <laughs> really did. We did. Yeah. 2020, <laughs> wild time. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> different here. I think that was actually the same. Uh, the same guy. Probably was the same day. <laughs> I think it was the same guy, same day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good Lord. Uh, yeah, I'm John. I'm the dungeon master for this thing. Uh, last week we said our farewell to the individuals <laughs> in the cave. We made our uh, plan to traverse north, uh, first skirting westward outside of the Fellwood to dodge any of the treacherous terrain and any of the uh, harsh obstacles that the woods might provide. We said a tearful farewell to Nesgrim, who elected in uh, the retrospect of having suddenly been gifted an additional 25 years of his life and an opportunity to again reevaluate his youth and live through some things that uh, he now has the wisdom of an an older man to uh, go through. I would like to stay back with the children and other members of the guild uh, and provide his services by going inside of the city of Oshwamp to collect goods and services for our friends out here in the adventuring (coughs) world. So he's his own little weird vanguard. Um, (coughs) Don's dead, which is, you know, ideal. Um. <laughs> oh, deal! <laughs> God! Right, it's gonna be Listen, nice. the world is inside. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is gin. We're fucked. <laughs> oh! Okay. Hey. 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 Breakfast. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so we said uh, deuces to Nesgrim. Uh, we got our carriage. We grabbed some horses. We went west. Uh, traversed the 20 wa- uh, miles of width of the Fellwood. And then started to go northbound. Uh, we had a very... A uh, unique moment uh, with Cloudstairs once again with Felix with taking up uh, Ether for peeping time. Uh, <laughs> it's 
fucked. And a Titanic <laughs> method. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's very good. Uh, he Titanic, do you see her up in the clouds? Uh, Ether <laughs> saw a lot <laughs> that day. I did. <laughs> so many different new things that he found. He was really interested in. Nude things? Yeah, new okay. things. Uh, a whole I feel like Titanic yeah. him has a whole different kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you didn't yeah, watch yeah, the last too. episode, uh-huh. <laughs> you be the iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm going down. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I mean, we saw, we saw a bunch of shit out here in the north, some bad spooky things. We came back down from the Claire, uh, cloud stairs. Uh, we decided, hey, we're going to do our best to absolutely dodge all of the horrible swamp land that John has talked about for a while now mm-hmm. and uh, stay on the western edge of the marshes, uh, traversing northbound. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we effectively, again, concluded not really in the midst of any kind of cliffhanger or anything, just in um, some new information and some um, ideas for how we're going to attempt to tackle this new endeavor, uh, since we are back into the uh, more sandboxy, open adventure portion of the campaign. So we're picking up here with you guys. Uh, I have to also simultaneously pull up two maps. One second. Um, two webs. Yeah, two webs. Um, yeah, I mean, we had talked previously about the location of Hunter's Folly, discussions about whether or not there would be a road, and we were in the midst of discussing uh, whether or not we would be just effectively skirting on the western edge of the, the Placlaus, the thing that just means old trees, but sounds scary, so I like saying it. Um, you know, it's a little lullaby for me. I wonder where the bad guys are. Yeah, dude, they're not in the no. Placlaus. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I mean, genuinely, we weren't really, from my recollection, in the middle of anything mm-hmm. nefarious. In particular, you guys had come back down, disseminated some information, and nefarious. We, we didn't do anything foot nefarious. Prints. We, <laughs> we had dodged the big tree, uh, the big bird in the sky, and we had skirted <laughs> into the edge of the woods. <laughs> we <laughs> dodged big bird. There's nothing to show. Wait, wait, wait. What, what do no, you mean? What noise did it make again? <laughs> I hate that. I hate that. I hate it's that. It's so turkey. I hate dirty, that. So yeah. we didn't leave him to die. We didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. <laughs> no. Totally Me and safe. Chell had also found uh, footprints underneath of a tree leading off. Oh, you're zone. correct. Yes, yes, yes. That was where the uh, the Some drawing of the thing. angular thing yeah. that I had done was. I was going to say, there was some, definitely something that yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there was also the like a I bear mean, fight. And that's fine. Oh, yeah. Huh? That's right. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot about their tour killed Ethier for mm. <laughs> for his amusement. Yep. Yeah, there was someone that made a hard, yeah. sharp turn. They were like, mm, "Nope, gotta go." Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that that was the tracks in the snow. Yes. Mm. Mm-hmm. I had smelled something astringent that smelled, <laughs> smelled like medicine. That the shamans used to use. Yeah. To... Correct. Yeah, comparable to what the shamans uh, used when they were attempting to cleanse the issue uh, of the contamination for the individuals that had been struck by the poison blades of the other orc tribe. Thusly, we do commence. Yeah, I'll uh, walk back from there and <laughs> kind of see everybody and found tracks. What kind of tracks? Uh, probably somebody on horseback. No more than a few hours old. Did they, you smell anything? Yeah, it uh, smelled normal, but there was like this lingering smell of like I don't know, it smelled like medicine. Hmm. Like Perhaps my, uh, my shamans would use it for like cleansing. Interesting. Um, Maybe they'll have more information about the area. Should we try and find them? Well, I mean, if there's a living soul out here, I don't know why they would be out here. I mean, we said the same thing about that cavern, and then we met T.U. Ertl, so... Yeah, but the, hey, po- friend. the possibility of us running into another fun <laughs> person. <laughs> Let's see, we've run into Rirda out here. We've run into Tea Urtle. Uh, Mel- Edelstan. Mel- see. Uh, yeah. so Edelstan. Far, a track record of meeting. I think we should find people. the friend. It's, it's only been the hag, and we've, we're looking for her. Yeah. Yeah. The, the Hork War band. And the Ascendant. Oh. Is the hag so bad? I mean, yeah, there yes. There is that. <laughs> yeah, we want to avoid that. <laughs> that thing was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Some trees. <laughs> um, is it possible that it is uh, orcs returning from somewhere towards that cave? Uh, I know we are uh, ways away from it now, but. Um, Single set of prints, right? Correct. Yeah. 
did it smell similar to any of the um, herbs and medicines that you picked up in the cave? Or simply the cleansing ones? Uh, it was like... It's the stuff that they use the... I told you about the, uh, the, the plague tooth that they would use to stab people with. Yes. Uh, it was like medicine to help people who were stabbed with that. So it's like if they were suffering from like the, the nightmares and the fevers. That's what they help treat it with. Did it smell like anything that I had found in the... Uh... In terms of... Um, I would say genuinely because of the apothecary nature of what the shamans would have been doing in their methodology of cleansing the wound and attempting to uh, provide a salve for it, that it would have had a an odor that would have been a compound. So like in the way that you would have picked up the initial like forefront notes, uh, it would have smelled closest in terms of similarity to how Blood Purge smelled okay. from what you guys have encountered before. So like that, uh, you know, very earthy root. Like you're digging through, you know, wet soil, like that mud. Yeah, like a odor. wormwoody type smell. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's similar, but not exact. Are you, are you talking about the thorn? Huh? No, the... Plague tooth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this would help? Well, it, they tried. Didn't didn't work? There were some... I would assume that there's some successes for that? Or did everyone die? Was oh, in terms of individuals that have been struck by the plague? Yeah. Uh, no, there would have been definitively been some successes, but they would have been... Um, I think at this point it's probably fair to ascribe it as effectively. They would have had to have been amputated. Mm. Um, so like you know again like a, a lingering injury in the hand like they would have probably There's taken a very like large elbow. festering wound correct yeah. yeah so I would say no to the cell as a methodology of um, preventing the spread of the contamination like effectively they were unable to find a genuine cure mm. so it would have almost been like just to sterilize the surgery site yeah, and I mean, uh, you know, again, try to prevent <laughs> mm -hmm. spread of blood flow. Got it. Like, obviously, you know, we as more educated individuals know that, like, that shit doesn't really work. But in medieval times, they went with what they knew. And if you couldn't cure it, you took it off. Yeah. All right. It would work sometimes. Not without leaving them with, you know, missing arms or legs or something. Hmm. It's, uh, it's odd. Like I said, it's only, like, the tracks are only a few hours old. So they were through here not so long ago. And then also, again, for clarification, the individual was on horseback, mm -hmm. just because of the width and breadth of the, yeah. the tracks in the snow. I mean, the snow's gonna probably make it hard for them to move. If we're gonna find them, we should probably... It yeah. would also be hard for us to move. We have a path. They've already carved right? a path for us. Yeah, that is fair. And it um, led f into the Fellwood? You guys are still in or the Fellwood. This yeah. would have been like a couple of miles out before it would have started to become the actual m rotting swampland. Yeah. So like you guys still have roughly two to three miles worth of Fellwood trek. So when you would have come in, you know, 20 to 30 feet, it would have been heading, yes, continuing northeast in the Fellwood itself. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't heading towards Alglatha, so I don't think we'd uh, run any risk of heading into the swamp yet. I mean, it, it can't hurt to s see if there is someone that came from that direction. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, they have passed. I'm sure you could help them finish their journey. Yes. Um, I'm curious if uh, this track looked at least in the direction that we can see it like it was coming from the direction of the swamp if it were to continue straight so again we're trying to do this <laughs> like in a geometric way <clears throat> forgive me we're trying to do this in a geometric fashion with breaking this up into like quadrants and things sure. like that you know if this is the the rectangular area that is the fell wood mm -hmm. you guys are roughly like here you entered in here found tracks that came like okay that. 
Oh, so they're going... They back. might have come from outside, but sure. you guys aren't traversing this two to three mile width here right. to be able to discern the genuine trajectory. Okay. You're parsing like a few hundred feet within a two mile stretch. Sure. So I cannot factually yeah, tell you if they were coming from out or if they had been like, we Yeah, we don't know. Yeah. We have no idea. Sure. Because we okay. only saw a, a few segments of small track area. Sure. As soon as we get a move on, we can find them before they hit the swamps. Yes, uh, they may have some information about uh, being this far north. Um, it is, uh, I think, at least worth the attempt to gather information, even if we do so from a distance. Yeah. I mean, I still have my wings. I could try and fly and see if I can see them from a distance to give you guys a heads up of what we're facing. Possibly, but with the tree cover, if they are a few hours ahead, yeah, tracking them even with moving through the snow, I, I would be worried about you or you and Felix getting too far ahead and not being able to see through the tree line. They are pretty far, even with the snow slowing them down. Uh, there will still be a, a degree of distance that they will have covered. And you said it looked like they were moving in a hurry, but not a full gallop? Yeah, so like a reasonably paced trot. trot. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we'll call my horse over. Yeah. Get up on my horse. Are we going? I guess I'll take the other horse? Or what was the... So there was a cart that was being pulled, just because in case you guys had discovered anything that you wanted to be able to bring back, we did want to have um, a, a small area for you guys to be able to contain uh, any trinkets or items of value. Um... I would say that that, because it's a small cart, like it could be pulled with, you know, I'm, I'm thinking in terms of uh, comparative size for what we have now. Think about like, you know, a little bit like two wheelbarrows in width and like, mm -hmm. so like stack side by side that in width of a cart. So we're talking like one wheel per side, little modest thing. Um, I would say that the, you guys took two horses with you and you have your personal one and you got one as well mm -hmm. so like we have four host horses in total um one of them effectively being a spare one of them to directly pull the cart if we did want to hitch down to a single horse on cart so like that is an opportunity but that also still leaves you know two people with horses one person taking a horse i'm a bear right now you're so. A, okay so a bear <laughs> <laughs> some horse, uh, <laughs> right, bear, some we horses don't need any. We've got enough stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's up yeah. to you guys to decide. <laughs> you have a draft horse, correct? Mm -hmm. Is a draft horse strong enough to have a bear ride it? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> that would be fucking hard. The bear moves better in the snow than the horse. <laughs> <laughs> the horse we're going through a track that's already there. I, I, it seems like we're all. In agree, agreements to follow a stranger. Yeah, let's uh, go. I don't. I don't think we should make a habit out of this. No, I would agree. Um, yeah, but I mean, there's no one out here ever. At one point or another, why are all they strangers. out here? There's people out Aren't here. Aren't you interested to know what they're doing out here, just south of Alglatha? No. If anything, I would like to avoid anybody that's just south of Alglatha. Oh, come on, Felix. You gotta be a little curious. I mean, slightly, but <laughs> come on. I think we should do so with caution, with the opportunity to turn and retreat if necessary. I don't think we should just ride up to them and say hello. Uh, but you know who would have? Nesgrim. Some reconnaissance could be helpful. Um, yeah, you mean like Hanum? Yes. You don't want a man either. <laughs> It's a dangerous game. <laughs> <laughs> I've only hunted those who are dead. Already. What? I've already only hunted those who are already dead. But it's Doesn't not hunting. Haunted? Haunting. Haunted. Haunted. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that. Yeah. Well, I'll, uh, I, I'll get in the cart. <laughs> yeah, 
I mean, currently there's no goods in the cart. Like there yeah, would there's be two P- there's two NPCs in there. <laughs> yeah, I mean like Catherine. Is I'm gonna there. hang out with some vampires. Weird is hanging out in there. Uh, I would say that you know and there's Sabrina. Oh, and Sabrina. <laughs> Sabrina's in there. So like there's four people in a cart. The one yeah, more demon baby. Whatever. Yeah, I'm um, in the cart. Yeah, that's great. Oh fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Surrounded by vampires. I like to think you sit down next to Sabrina and it's like all right. Oh! oh! Why are you here? <laughs> Fuck! I, I would also like to take the card. I can feel it laughing. Hello, Felix. Hmm? Hello. Uh, <clears throat> Hello. What are we doing? Uh, we're following a stranger. All right. Just into her mind, I say it's not. It wasn't my idea. <laughs> yeah, no, it sounds absolutely idiotic, but whatever. Uh, we're here for the. We're here for the journey, um, and in whatever way that this perceivably helps us, I I hope it only brings us good fortune. We can sit in silence the entire time. <laughs> that would be preferred. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a demon infant inside of my uterus that claws at me night and day. I've never known peace. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never know peace again. <laughs> Perhaps just a few moments of rest of rest would be nice. Mm-hmm. But I'm a vampire, so I do not sleep any longer. I will just shut my eyes and rest my head upon your shoulder. You're still you talking. She has <laughs> 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 <is> fake snoring. <laughs> <laughs> and Ridge is like, yeah, dude, that sounds good. <laughs> and just leans against the back of her shoulder. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll look at... It was Catherine that came with us, right? Catherine, yeah. yeah. I'll look at Catherine and just... I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> I know you use the mouse. You're right. Mickey. <laughs> 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 Who's talking? It's the rat. <laughs> oh, rat. the green man, Felix. He's very kind. You can't hear me? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, I mean, your voice sounds a bit alike to Ethier's, and I want to make sure that I'm talking to the right person. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, that's all right. It's just... I, <laughs> I, I knew you more by your stutter, forgive me for saying, but it feels as though it's become a little bit more, I don't know, faded. It has faded. That's very good to hear. It was not fun communicating with it. No, I it, I, I didn't have it my whole life. Yeah, sometimes um, things can present into adulthood, but I'm glad to hear that you're working through it. That's very nice to hear. Thank you. Of course. We, we can also sit in silence. <laughs> that would be great. I would very much like to imagine myself in my closed eyes, forever closed, strangling my husband Arthur, <laughs> ripping Benjamin from his arms that he might once again just be my loving son. <laughs> I'm going to also. <laughs> is that, is that just trauma dumping on me? What is this? You it's got a in the card. What is it's a, a trauma card? Understand the plight of women, Felix. That's not. I mean, well, one of them. Well, I guess both of them. But f- forget it. I don't want anybody to play in silence. Or will we? Or do we? Or do we? Where is he? Where is he? I will, I will break the obsidian of this blade and stab us all. <laughs> um, Force, do you mind if I ride on your horse? So that I, I might per- perceive six. perceive things at the front of the pack. You could ride. You could ride Retora's horse. Sure. I'd rather rather than a little free horse. <laughs> like after you, oh, okay. after you, <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna like kind of look at fucking Thario because I know she's staring at us during this exchange. Like maybe, maybe you should ride that horse. Sorry, party so uncomfortable. <laughs> can we, I, can I also realize. ride your horse? <laughs> I did not realize there was a spare. Uh, my apologies. <laughs> Don't tell Iris about. <laughs> so it has like a cu- like a little curtain right on the uh, on the back of the cart right because it's co- it is covered right no 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 it's we, not covered w- we left the wagon back with the kids oh, shit. like the okay. full like Oregon Trail style wagon we just took like you oh, know, no, again no. like little box fucking cart with you know wheels and some like a know, trailer just, you're going on a like, hayride like a robot <laughs> 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 but like we got that back holy there, shit dude. is that Invader Zim oh yeah, yeah. 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 he's pulling the cart <laughs> oh no alright well yep <laughs> I'll just sit silently you just hear Sabrina just muttering in between her fake snores just 
Dear God, it hurts. It always hurts. <laughs> and Catherine's just, I know, I know. It hurts too. Rich is just, ham. I really like ham. He's actually asleep. The other two are fake. Here. <laughs> So oh, right. We haven't even moved. Cart riding on, or are you just gonna drive the cart? I don't know if I. Yeah, there's a horse that's pulling the cart. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll drive the cart. I'll put on my conductor hat. Like, let's go. You got a veil. You yeah. can kind of yeah. see where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> so are we? Are we following the track? <laughs> can you not like remove your? Cover? No. <laughs> Jeez, see, I can yeah. see through it. Just, just kill me. <laughs> just kill me. Just fucking, let's just, just go off a mountain. Creepily turn back around like, oh boy. <laughs> God, it's the poor horseman. <laughs> oh, oh boy. <laughs> okay, so we are following the tracks. Yes. We're choosing yes. to follow the tracks. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. I had said four hours previously of travel time. What pace are you guys intending to move? Again, with respect of you guys are going through a pathway that is already partially traversed. Um, I would say that the cart... I would say that the cart is a little bit wider than the uh, overall narrow frame of the horse, uh, but obviously because you guys would be going in front of the cart, we're not mm. going to have the cart person lead. I would say that the width of two horses side by side going first is going to be the width of the cart, so it will not affect your travel pace realistically with going through the show. Um, do you guys want to go at a normal, slow, or fast pace? I feel like normal. we should move pretty quickly if we want to catch up with them, though. We also do want to be relatively stealthy. Yeah, we're, we tra- we're, s- we're tracking them. Fast yeah. sneak. We don't have to yeah. stay fast, though. I'm yeah, saying yeah, we yeah. can move quickly, <laughs> and as we start to get closer, then perhaps I mean, they slow may back. have stopped a mile ahead. I mean, we'll see them. We're not going to bump into them. <laughs> we're not going to be like, oh, hello. <laughs> there <are laughs> There's only one bed here. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> we're, 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 like, all have, we're watching the track so intently we didn't see them stop in front of us. Oh, shit, you're here. <laughs> uh, I would say probably, like, having been on a hunt before and, like, tracking stuff through the snow... I would probably keep it like a relative uh, trot pace okay. to where it's like when something gets just about within sight or there's telltale in the track that they're slowing down or something, yeah. we can stop. Yeah. Because again, obviously you guys are going to be following the path laid before you effectively. So like, there's not really, um, I want to say much of a, a, a thought to me of you guys losing the trail. Mm. This is going through an abundance of mm. snow. At least until, as, as previously dictated, because I do want to make that apparent. Again, when you guys had witnessed the snow falling over the swamplands of the Plaklaus, it did melt in the contingent atmosphere of the swampland just because of atmospherical differences. Yeah. So, like, I cannot promise you that there will necessarily be tracks inside of a swamp, but in relation to where we are currently, um, it doesn't feel... It doesn't feel right to ask for a survival check for you to follow a literal track in the snow. So I am going to instead just roll for me for my movement pace. Okay. And you guys are going at a normal pace. Mm-hmm. I am going slow. Cool. Glenn, do me a solid since yeah. you would be the one feasibly leading the pack at our pace. Uh, roll for me a d8. D8? Yeah. Mm, fuck. That's yours. Why are you stealing it? Seven. Mm-hmm. It was almost an eight. Shit. Mm-hmm. All right. Sometimes math works out. We got him. Um, <laughs> Get the gun. <laughs> Freeze. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, I, I was just trying to, you know, determine whether or not we caught the individual before we hit the the black files, and you, you rolled a seven, <laughs> which is higher than the three d four that I rolled. So damn. Neat. Easy. Um, yeah, so in terms of Master actually hunting. setting the, the, the atmosphere and the tone for the situation, um, with, once again, the trajectory being at, you know, initially that V-shaped angle, mm-hmm. it would eventually straighten out. So not going at 
uh, an, an actual incline towards like a northeastern direction. It would turn and steady stay north. Uh, you would follow that for roughly like a mile. Uh, it would seem as though the horse itself kind of starts to veer in between trees. For you as a hunter and a person who like understands tracking, it would feel unnatural for somebody to be doing that, knowing that they were leaving behind a trail behind them. It doesn't look like there is... I feel like the horse is autopiloting. I would say, in terms of, like, in the presentation of the scene, less like the horse is autopiloting, and more like this individual is going and stopping briefly at a series of different trees. I will ask you, and honestly, probably Retora as well, to make nature checks. Yeah. Just to determine whether or not you guys are able to discern if you're recognizing a pattern within the kinds of trees that this individual is looking at. How do we not use that one? Johnny Appleseed. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're literally following Johnny Appleseed. All right? <laughs> Who did you ask to roll? I'm sorry. Glenn and Sarah. Okay, 16. Not, yeah, get out of here, Don. Get out of here. You roll too much. Oh. No more rolling. You and your big papers. <laughs> 16. Okay. They are big. Uh, 11. <laughs> okay. So, I... Okay, you'll disseminate the information anyway. There's no point for me messaging. Yes. I would say that as... <clears throat> excuse me. As you're checking these trees, so, like, it doesn't look like the horse stops and then, like, trots around the trunk of the tree in a circular fashion. It seems like the individual stops, and again, because there's a, a, a genuine depth to the snow here, it would seem like the horse would stop and then rotate, almost like to a 90-degree angle to be able to better face the mm -hmm. tree, as though the individual is either collecting something out of the tree, um, putting something in the tree, something comparable. Um, since you pass, I'll let you make an investigation check as well to see, like, as we're passing a number of these trees, whether or not you're able to discern what this individual is actually doing in the location of the trees. <clears throat> That's going to be an 18. Fantastic. So I would say because of the... Careful, careful. So, like, with them being pine trees and things like that, obviously there's going to be the low level of, like, uh, the initial onset of the actual pine needles and things like that. So you're passing one of the trees maybe, like, 15, 20 minutes into the journey, and you realize, like, this person every, say, maybe 200 feet, 300 feet or so, seems like they're stopping, pausing briefly at a tree. Not for long, not going around it. Look into parse some of the branches and things like that and above you I would say that you would hear very soft you know almost fragile chirping of baby birds just <laughs> like, they're, like, okay. they're, they're, <laughs> cheep, cheep, cheep. like they're feeding the birds cheep 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 right <laughs> yeah okay cheep cheep <laughs> <laughs> cheep cheep um, yeah, I would say that, like, upon seeing that there is a nest, I would leave it up to you because it would be a few feet above your head for where you would reach. Um, I would say, like, if you want to stop and uh, attempt to look, I could let you do that, obviously, but that's up to you. Like, as an individual that grew up in, in nature, like, it's up to you if you want to disturb the bird's nest. Where is he? <laughs> Where you are. No, I would leave them. Yeah, and like because I know that there is also the possibility of there being a mama bird in the nest as well, and like <laughs> well, her, her getting spooked and flying away yeah. suddenly and like being angry and yelling yeah. and like that's hey, what the draw. fuck are you doing? <laughs> it's gonna call cause attention. Yeah. Absolutely. Get the fuck away from my baby um, bird! <laughs> Where are they telling you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take them, I'm flying away! <laughs> what had you, um... That my freaking tree. Your nature check initially was a 16. 16. Uh, roll a history check. Just natural 20. That's it, just natural 20 yet. Hey, just nat natty 20. Fuck yeah. You're hitting all the ones that I have advantage on. I'm very happy about that. You're very welcome. Uh, that's good too. That's 17. Sure. Easy. Yeah, I would say that this would be a <laughs> a chirping that you would be familiar with in terms of like, as a genuine thing, it's not like it's a strange bird or anything. You're not hearing 
you know, any kind of you know, lost a, species. Yeah, you're not finding <laughs> like, oh my god, like this is a, a demon bird that resides in some trees or some bullshit like that. You're hearing just like, you know, what would sound very commonplace in regards to you as an individual that grew up in the woods throughout your entire life. So, uh, in regards to birds that would live up here, you might think of it as like uh, a, a blue jay or a cardinal, something that is capable of uh, surviving and this kind of environment but uh, doesn't seem like it's a strange bird commonplace it's just a toucan yeah <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> step back he's got fruity <laughs> <laughs> he's cuckoo for cocoa puffs <laughs> you know who you follow now don't you what Good. no <laughs> The Birdman. What? Michael Keaton. Oh God! Oh, I missed that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Presumably. Well, I'm I'm subtly being trauma dumped on, so I don't know anything's happening. You stole my son. <laughs> <laughs> my yeah. life. I was a singer. <laughs> they loved me in the taverns. Hubert promised to raise me well, and he did. But Arthur. God damn you, Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Um. <laughs> um, as we are, uh, the ghoul within me grows louder. <laughs> Sorry, I mean girl, little girl within me. <laughs> a funny, funny story about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, as we are riding, I would be just kind of casually looking at the trees for any signs of, uh, like rotting or unnatural looking things uh, that I may have seen elsewhere or simply because, you know, Melithel told us about the bad trees, which obviously I cannot discern without the eye, but just looking for any yeah. any weird sure. rot symbols carved into the bark, blood. Mm. Blood. Mm. Does your... Retora get itchy around any of the trees? <laughs> <laughs> You're riding a horse, correct? I am. All right. And what's your uh, PP? 23, 24? 23, yes. 23. So we'll say disadvantage because you have to maintain the sight of your horse to make sure that your horse is going in the right direction. So an 18. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> All right. Um, I would say that as you're traversing, obviously following this path, especially with the, the idea that Vorse would be halting for like maybe 10 to 15 seconds at some trees, mm -hmm. especially the one in which like he stops to look within, yeah. sees like a bird's nest. You guys would all kind of like hear the little cheep, 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 cheep. Um, you know, great voice acting uh, <laughs> on behalf of your dungeon master. Uh, more, bravo, more. Bravo. Thank you, I was gonna say, round of applause would be nice, but no, 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 no. no. At, this point, at this point I had to ask, I don't want to. <laughs> um, Chirp, chirp, chirp. <laughs> That's what I'll come do. On, come on, come on, chirp us, come on. <laughs> right? Um, no, I would say that in relation to where Vorst halts and you hear the soft, subtle, you know, the soft chirping within the trees themselves, you would notice towards the height of the tree. Now, because pine tree hmm. looks obviously similar to us for like the Christmas tree and shit where like you would be able to discern natural ringlets around for the width of the needles as they come out. Sure. I would say that in the tree from whence Vorse halted, you would a few feet back be able to see that there is above where Vorse has halted his horse a small hole in the snow. Okay. You would see like, you know, just roughly... Yay big, you know, two two inches in in width, like pretty uniform hole, like maybe a slight difference around the the edges of the. So you know, again, if I'm making a circle around the midpoint, mm -hmm. a few maybe wider edges. Sure. Uh, You're yeah. a person who's been out in the trees. Yeah. I was gonna say you'd see birds fly outside of snow. Oh sure, just like yeah, ground. just gotta go. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Not an unreasonable thing for Ethier who spent 10 years in the fucking yeah, wild. Sure. No. Sure. Ground birds. Ground birds. Sure. Well, I mean, it's up in the tree. Oh. So, like, you know. Tree birds. Tree if, birds. If tree is yonder, <laughs> like, 10 feet in height, it would be roughly, like, 7 feet in yeah, height. Yeah, just oh, like, straight through. Yeah, I'm going out. I gotta go. Okay. These kids suck. <laughs> sure. 
It's not like that. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So nothing nefarious, just some yeah, dude. Tree birds. Dude stabbed at a tree and then a bird flew yeah. away. Very like, good. Make of that what you will. Okay. I don't trust it. <laughs> that you don't trust. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mush. Continuing on after that, nothing else at this halted moment. Fantastic. So again, as previously dictated, you guys eventually would. Um, hit a point where, of course, I would say that you would naturally recognize um, a change in pace in yourself as you recognize the tracks themselves almost not grind to a halt up in the distance saying, you know, at this point in the day, like, difficult to see because overcast plus tree canopy, but, like, you would be able to see roughly... 200 feet into the distance, the tracks would look as though they take a harsh 90 degree turn. Going for what we would know to be the edge, the western edge of the Feltwood. I do not know how you would like to approach this situation. Um, yeah, about 200 feet in distance ahead of you. You said the pace changes in the, in the, in the footprints? The pace changes, yes, as though it comes to like... A, a genuine like slow moving trot so like the actual looking down at the footprints within the snow ahead of you you would see the distance slowly come to a minimal uh, nature between the two uh, hoof prints alright so it slows down and then it makes the 90 degree ahead yep. correct um, coming up to that turn I would probably I would let you guys know that it's slowing down. Um, okay. Also, for clarity's sake, I would say that this would have taken roughly an hour and a half to two hours for you guys to catch up the, the seven miles that you are going and the six miles that this other individual had gone. Mm -hmm. I was just about to ask how long it's been. Yeah, roughly an hour and a half, two hours. Again, we have an orb of time, so like, you know, roughly 90 minutes. Yeah, uh, I would slow up everybody and let them know that the track's slow. Um... I, they might be close. Um, wait back a little bit. I'm going to, like, get off my horse and put the uh, lead around your saddle. All right. I'm going to go ahead. I can stay lower on the ground than on the horse. And uh, I'm going to pull my big white cloak up so I can kind mm -hmm. of, like, slink through yeah. the snow. And Absolutely. Just go down to the end where it turns and see if I can like get behind a tree and see forward further. Yeah, especially because of, again, to me, the height of like, you know, now with the snow having settled and there being roughly three to four feet worth of height, even here in the Fellwood itself, of actual snow falling here. I would say that, you know, in regards to a stealth check, you can make it with advantage and I'm going to give you effectively the plus five as well, like almost effectively half, half of uh, Pass Without Trace. So that's a dirty 20 with just that. Yeah, and then I have a zero to my stuff. So yeah, dirty 20. Did you count the plus five? Yeah. Okay. My yonder watchful peepers do... <laughs> I see. Dog man. <laughs> oh, dog man. Oops. Hello. Is your whistle? <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna do with all these bones? <laughs> so. Just salvating. <laughs> <laughs> you have them stop back. Fuck. You know, maybe like fifty or so feet. You go on foot. Uh, slowly moving, crouching, very, you know, obscured, maybe just like the littlest bit of the upper collar of your cloak as like it's pulled above you. So like, you know, the point of where the, the circular hood would be and you start crawling around the edges of the snow. You hit this 90 degree turn and kind of ducking down still at the same elevation of the snow itself, like peak around the corner. Uh, I would say that only about another hundred or feet or so in the distance you would see a small clearing um, for how it would appear to you at an angle peering around. Um, it would seem like moving through the snow, a very small shoveled out, like, you know what a fucking igloo is. 
you would see almost like a conical dome shape igloo like carved into a mound of snow piled in a small clearing of trees roughly about 100 to 150 feet ahead of you so like harsh 90 degree turn hastily constructed igloo like it's fresher yes it doesn't absolutely. look like this is like a camp that they've had for some time correct yep all right uh anybody in sight or just the igloo and i, I suppose the horse i would say that because of so like it's i'm trying to convey this in regards to like considering it as like a hallway you're mm -hmm. looking down an alley that is the four feet of height of cleared snow where it's roughly three feet in width across. So you're looking down a long rectangular area. You would go right into the mouth of the igloo as though it is naturally formed up from the snow. I would say that you'd be able to see a little bit of accumulation of um, incongruous shapes worth of snow from like something moving to a side and you know how like snow will fall backwards in like a chunk, a little chunk, some dusting you would be able to see that there's probably a pathway that was carved to the right of the entrance of the mouth of the igloo. So, again, trying to do this in a geometric fashion with pens that ever work! <laughs> like yonder. Like you have gone this way, made a 90 degree turn, there is a mouth naturally carved up where this would be a height about two feet above the four feet of the igloo itself and you'd be able to see like some small clumps of snow from something clearly moving in that direction as well does that make sense mm -hmm. okay yeah so you would be currently here and then this is you know like a hundred ish feet ahead in terms of width yeah uh, i don't hear any whinnying or anything like that um I would say since you paused for a moment, you would definitely hear, like, the soft whinnying of, like, a currently uh, bridled-up horse attached to either a fence post, a tree, something like that. You just hear... Okay. <laughs> Mondays, huh? Okay. God, I hate the snow. <sighs> oh, a lighting of a... <laughs> God damn it, the horse is just smoking. <laughs> Get for this yeah, shit. I'll uh, creep back okay. to them. Uh, we put the horses up here. And I'll describe what he described about how far. So if we, uh, if we hitch the horses here, um, we can leave like Sabrina and Catherine behind to watch this stuff, they, uh, they might be posted up in an igloo over there. Are you sure we want to leave them behind in the woods? I mean, it's only a hundred feet away. I suppose. It is not that far. Yeah. Well, if anything there. happens, I can recall the horse. Yeah, so I mean, again, just in terms of, like, the X's are trees. Mm -hmm. The X's aren't, like, monsters or land, anything. Land but, like, yeah. You guys have been, you know, it's mine. Well, mine too. Yeah. But like, you guys have been coming this way. You've halted here, adjacent to a tree. Vorst has come back this sixty feet. Like, just want to set the scene yeah. that we're still in a heavily forested area. I think, I think the rear should stay behind as well. <clears throat> I'll just punch him. Ah, ham. <laughs> it's ham time. No. Okay. No, no, no. Wake back up. Well, I hit him again. Hi. Right. I need now? you to just stay awake with Catherine and Sabrina. And, and oh, yeah, and I can watch them. Watch our stuff. The ham? The yeah, eventual ham. ham that we'll bring back. You're going to go get a pig? If I find one. Winter pig. Four. It's good stuff. <laughs> Meaty. Tender. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm watching them. Mm -hmm. Awake. Don't. They're not awake. Yes, they are. They don't sleep. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, then I can go to bed. No, you can't. <laughs> oh, okay. You need to be awake. You're right. I gotta watch for the ham. Sabrina? Yes, what? Please keep him awake. Oh, the strange man? Yes, Rita. the strange man. Okay, uh, Sabrina, you're different now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no demon in me. Demon in me now. That's bad. <laughs> I know, right? It's almost like we changed roles in the campaign. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Camp campaign? 
Uh, <laughs> yes, that's what I'm calling our overall adventure, the campaign of Sabrina. <laughs> Sabrina's campaign. With that ego, you... <laughs> I stop there. I just don't, I don't finish the sentence. Do you look into the camera? <laughs> you deserve the pain. <laughs> um, yes, we, we need everyone to be on alert. Uh, I think we are. the plan is to take the horses a bit farther forward towards the... Uh, the ones from the back. Yes, the horses from the, the back. He's got the horses. Exactly. Precisely. <laughs> Precisely. Um, we're going to move them up to this, uh, oh, to the yeah. corner slightly back. Uh, so okay. that way you all can wait with the stuff whilst we're... I'll get my hat. All right, good. I've got a new winter hat. Is it black? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, just, I'll look at Catherine. You got all that, right? I wasn't remotely paying attention, no. She's farting that huge. I was lost within hat. the midst of all my trauma. As I have no we're just going to leave that right there. We're just going to leave that right there. Hey, you're cutting her over. <laughs> she <laughs> says, no one listens to me. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to leave that right there. Sabrina listens to you, I know she does. <laughs> We're both really going through some terrible times. We've both given birth... Well, you'll give birth to a strange child, and I've already done that. Yeah, I think we can bond over these mutual experiences. I like ham. We can also... <laughs> does Sabrina also like... Ooh. <laughs> Oh, I mean, great. in a way, you're to also birth a for a bit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I was birthed from a demon, so like, you know, thing... It's fine. That's even ripped me asunder. It's yeah, fine. yeah, yeah. It's kind of like I had the weirdest C-section. <laughs> it was just my whole body. <laughs> yeah. So it can't be as bad as that. I look at Sabrina. Uh, yeah, no, for sure. I mean, I hope I still live after this but, is torn from my womb. You all enjoy your adventure, then. Uh, we'll stay here and watch the things. That we'll talk to Reard about ham. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah like how to season it, you know. Pepper. <gasps> Salt. Yeah! <laughs> honey. <gasps> I never thought about honey. <laughs> oh, your whole world's going to open up, you big buffoon. Mm, buffoon. <laughs> we don't... Shh. All right, I'll go to bed then. It's best if he just rests. <laughs> You're, I'm imagining you're just walking away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking out of the car. Right there. I'm gone. <laughs> just, thank God, Felix. Oh, I was going to say listens, but okay. Oh, all right. These poor women just want a man to understand. <laughs> yeah, like, I, gotta, yeah. <laughs> I was in the car with them, and they explained womanhood to Corin. Okay, I got it. It's it's all cool down for a little bit, right? <laughs> the horses were taken. <laughs> okay. Oh. I also am oh. going to check to make sure that oh. that Ruben does have matching boots to match oh, his hat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, he just pulls out like a fucking like dope black beanie, like Love fucking that. like wool knitted. Yeah. Do the boots match? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I, that's what yeah. I was yeah. checking. Hat is matted black, and the yeah. boots are black exactly. to match. Yeah, yeah. leather exactly. boots with Holy fucking shit. like just like little Nas X fur. Just yeah, he's fucking in the trip. Exactly. Back. Mm. That is mad at black. And, and the, the Reeboks with the strap. And the Reeboks. <laughs> <laughs> Are we strapped up? Damn. <laughs> Stealth check for the Velcro. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, shit. I brought my fur boots instead. <laughs> Just echoes down the clear path. Yeah. <laughs> Man, if Grimdark could have had Velcro pirate boots, he would have <laughs> really... I don't have to tie yeah. they were, <laughs> his, his boots were never tied. <laughs> they never came off. <laughs> what reason? They were just fitted around yeah. his feet. Yeah. I just even in the they tub? were like untied, yeah. just like flopping around. Yeah. Like, fucking shit. Not, not during tubby time. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are doing. I'm going to. I'm going to drop my wild shape as no a bear. bear. Oh shit! Um, it's Ratora. <laughs> Do you, <laughs> Never gets old. Do you want me to sneak in? No, you've done that once. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I think we we go as a group. Yeah. Do we go sneaky, or do we just walk up and say hi, like we said with the turtle? Um. Do I have We said we weren't gonna say hi. I suppose though. It, it, Could be diplomatic about it. Yes. Yeah, so if, if we Hello? do sneak up on this person and they are. Just a normal person that is out here in the snow. They oh, are yeah. more Hunts likely to scare assume shit out of them, yeah. that uh, we are hostile and either flee or attempt to kill us. Uh, 
Yeah. Maybe two of us should talk to them and the rest stay back. Maybe you should hang back. You should definitely hang back. I'm if afraid. I saw you walk out of the woods today... You can't even see me. It would have scared me. I mean, you're, you're dressed in all defi- black. And definitely not you. You stand out with a sore <laughs> thumb. The most noticeable thing in the white I think woods. everybody else has got, like, white fur yeah. something. Bones head to toe. No. <laughs> yeah, definitely not you. <laughs> green. Yeah, you're you're literally Go green. Go ahead, and I just point at both of you. <laughs> yeah, that I makes mean, sense. We, I could... we can be normal, right? I? Put your hood up. <laughs> I mean, so I, just realized, hair, skin. Well, I just realized we're outside of Alglatha and you got big ears. That's true. I mean, I mean we are still <laughs> quite, quite a ways from Alglatha. Yeah, I know, but we're close enough that it's like that. That might be a little scary. Uh, possibly. I would argue um, it's a dice roll with you. I don't know if we want to send. I, I at least think the full group should move at least part of the way up. I don't know if we yeah. want to be a hundred feet back. Yeah. I could uh-huh. take my shroud off. I mean, I have white hair. Yeah. Blonde skin. The blonde skin. <laughs> I, just, I, I, just do, I just do this. I don't think it's going to help. I'm, I'm wearing like long, flowy clothes. No, I keep the, my hands in the... my. I'm not going to come out like fucking <laughs> thriller. Yeah. yeah. Really. <laughs> 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 Holy shit, new friends. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you walk up and <laughs> trick or treat. No. Oh. <laughs> Shroud stays on. I'm not going. Yeah, All right. Just, so so just we'll be we'll be within vision then. Yeah. I think so. yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. You know. So like, if you need to like swoop in and save the day, like you've been doing, you can. <laughs> right. Just just don't say anything stupid. We would never do that. Mm. I'm. No, we wouldn't. Don't do anything stupid. Can I cast guidance? <laughs> <laughs> on who? <Yeah>. Yourself? Uh, <laughs> well, whatever you would like. Uh, it is a concentration <laughs> spell, so you can only do it once. I'll also cast guidance on you. Then I'll cast guidance on Boris. Sure. <laughs> One for each of us. Is that a D4? It's a D4. In case you have to do any charisma checks. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, yeah. Oh, uh, howdy, stranger. You have disadvantage. <laughs> you, you, you said the most, the most non-charismatic person to go be diplomatic with a stranger. You told me I was horrified. <laughs> you we are. Don't, we don't have any I'm charisma players. Charismatic. I'm charismatic. They all, they all, we we lost the pally. I'm the charisma I can't. Oh, no. Wait, what do we you mean? We lost the pally. We lost I, the warlock. I'm the cleric. I'm literally the charisma character. That's a cleric. That's yes. your wisdom. Your wisdom. Oh, wisdom. What are your stats? I'm so pretty charismatic, right? We did, we did genuinely lose the two charisma characters in the party. <laughs> Both gone! Oh, so, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, um, so ne- Nesgrim is quite charismatic, right? So is Yellow Low, so all I gotta do is put them together. Um, nope, no, nope, no, no, just be yourself. No. <laughs> I think no. we can do it. Yeah. I think... Yeah. Think... We, don't, we don't even know what we're Grim. doing. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> Yellow just, just go say hello. Ask, ask the person what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> we are also fellow travelers, that type of thing. Yeah. Hello. Do they know hello. anything about the area? Yeah. Not that. Yes. <laughs> I'm yeah. just gonna cast a quick shillelagh. Don't smile my, uh... so big. Yeah. <laughs> away. Oh, Who's staff. talking? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> it's a minute, so I'd wait until we approach. Learned from watching you. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull my my uh, cloak around so that, like, I'm not visibly, like, well-armored with, like, four yeah. swords. <laughs> I have a stick. You know, just kind of, like, huddle like I'm cold and just, like, all They right, don't know well. I can be a bear, so... Do you have your stick out, like, you're using it as, like, a walking stick? I mean, Shillelagh doesn't alter the appearance no. of it. It would still appear like a, wall- yeah, a prob- walking stick. Yeah, I'd probably use it as a walking stick. That makes me appear... A bit more you approachable. Do, you do look older. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm not that old. I'm just not taking my grandmother for a walk. <laughs> Get to the, you to take the wizard stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the lady's taking her dog for a walk. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're gonna take a brief intermission so oh. I can set up the map. Oh, God. oh no! Hell yeah! Do we need snow? We haven't had snow. We'll be in a right while. back. Bye bye. Bye bye.
We're back. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hey, baby. (laughs) Why is it only picking up that? (laughs) Hi, baby. Hey, baby. Why is it only picking up that? Hi, baby. (laughs) Baby, baby. Why does it only pick me up that? Hi, baby. (laughs) Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. baby. (laughs) These captions are great. (laughs) Hey, baby. It's me. Note to self. (laughs) Introduce myself as hi, baby. I do wonder sometimes if it actually helps anyone follow what's going on. If it helps a single person get any concept (laughs) of what's happening, then sure. It doesn't help that we have, like, fantasy names and (laughs) shit. Yeah, no. This is any concert tickets. Hi, baby. We're going to a concert. <laughs> yeah. See, that's what's happening. It is. It's a fucking it's an English movie. You're telling me this isn't Burning Man? You're right. Oh, we got to burn a man. Don! Don. Don. Yes! Is I got him again. Right. Oh, All right, we'll start again. We'll say that, you know, a uh, good old... Vorst and Retora, the two charisma characters. Yeah, yeah. Can they, can those charismatic, charismatic people. My charisma is not too bad. I have low no. charisma. I cannot tell a lie. That's fine. That's uh, bad. Yeah, I mean, it's well, fine. yeah, no, I maybe Voice not ideal in this situation, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> um, yeah. We're just uh, a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, we'll hit the table cam just because why not? Ah! ah it's unsupported. What's, is it on? Yeah. Yeah. Jiggle it. Wiggle it. Take It'll work. Gobble it. <laughs> <laughs> Swallow Dude, it. Dude, it worked. <laughs> I'm so gobble it. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's not even a statue, Don. Damn. You're branching oh, out. We've all done it, okay? <laughs> Whoa. You one, to only see. one you character. Statues, one Don. <laughs> Hi, baby. Suddenly you you sang a song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got into the city and they became our best friends. So... <laughs> The statues did defend the city from the horrible lizard folk horde that was emerging from, I the, from the sea. And it was all because of you, Don. I thank you. I regret You're very nothing. welcome. Uh, yeah, in the distance, you see the fucking igloo. Again, it goes like two feet or so above the the usual four foot <laughs> height of snow on the outside. It was a fever dream. Uh, the, the opening to the uh, igloo itself seems like it's only maybe oh. about... Jesus oh, Christ. My eyes, um, the sun. You know, two, no, and thanks. A, two and a half or so feet in width. Um, as you guys get maybe about 50 to 60 feet away, you would see that there is a very small little campfire contained within the center of it, dug down. So, like, you would just see the flames licking up outside of the, the hole. Is there, um, mm-hmm. like a smokestack on the top of it or anything? Like, do we see smoke? For what you guys the... would see approaching, not really. Mm-hmm. Like, as you guys get closer, I would say that you would see that there would be probably a slight thin hole around the back edge towards where like Chell's microphone cables are. Okay. So like you would see a little thin wisp of smoke. But it's a very small fire intentionally contained. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Trying not to give off any um, uh, impression of where this is. Yeah. They um, did a really similar fashion. Great job hiding. <laughs> yeah. Some people know how to hide very well. Mm-hmm. What was that? Similar to the ones that I built in the past. Correct. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Good luck, everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just watching your friends walk towards certain doom. <laughs> We're not there, that far away. There they go again. <laughs> well, this um, is the game of opposites, Don. <laughs> yeah, uh, again, I would say because you guys insinuated you didn't want to be 100 feet away, what distance do you want to be away? From them? Correct. So, so like, it was like a 200 foot path. It's a 100, it's a 100, 100 foot feet. path. Oh, it's a 100 foot path. Yeah, because it's a harsh 90 degree angle. Yeah. So, well, like this. Would 90 we not just stand at the end of the angle, 100 feet away? I figured that was. Ethier in character had said that that was too far. If they get into danger, we're pretty far back. Yeah, I'd say let's say 50 feet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like 50 feet. Sure. So, you guys would hit like a midpoint. So, then yep. you guys would move them up, please. Nice. So like here. And you're you're both. Wearing... I don't know. You guys are telling me where you guys yeah. are going. Well, they're, they're approaching, right? Yeah, you guys, yeah, are, you guys are coming up to it, right? Yeah. 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 Get on this like here. Right about there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. There. That would be roughly thirty feet away. So from within, you would just hear a soft crackling of a fire. No real other sounds. You would hear occasionally a horse whinnying off in the direction of that path that had been cleared, as though probably the horse has been tied up over in that location. But no real other sound. It's just the like of a fire. 
a minute? Am I still smelling? Someday I'll get a round of applause. It's fine. I'm not crying. <laughs> <laughs> Am I still getting whiffs of the uh, the astringent smell? No, it would be very overwhelmed at the current moment just by like the little bit of residual uh, burning wood and, and stuff that you would get from the actual campfire. And just again, you're in the presence of a shitload of like pine trees. All right. Uh, if we walk into a circle, don't stab anybody, all right? I'll try not to. Right. I don't have any. I don't have. Trying is lying. Would you would you still be moving forward? Again, I just yeah. don't. I don't want to position anyone unfairly I would get, I would in get, the scene. I would get far enough out that it's like I know that the noise would travel into it. So like, if we're about like thirty feet out, I know that like I can kind of be like, <laughs> hey. Like, I can sure. talk at a normal volume, and whoever's inside of an he igloo this size would be, like, sure. able to pick yeah. up the sound. <laughs> it, would, it would echo sufficiently through the narrow channel of the igloo. Loud open. enough that I can and talk just with again, like, yell. <coughs> yeah. 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 Um, uh, he- hello? Just like Nazgrim. Fuck yeah. me, dude. There are so many times that just the, the most basic introduction feels like it is the hardest to ever be prepared for. <laughs> you... <coughs> Hello? <laughs> um, it's so cold. <laughs> Are you my mummy? <laughs> like, Hi, es- Especially because, you know, narrow, like, three-foot opening, you're not going to be able to see the, like, breadth of the interior. Mm-hmm. I would say you would hear a small, like, second, like, half second of rustling, like somebody, like, accidentally bumps into something. Not anything, like, metallic, where you're not hearing, like, a ringing sound, like somebody hit, like, a pot or a pan. But definitely somebody, (laughs) thank you. (laughs) But definitely somebody, like, bumped into something wooden, and you get that thud, like a little residual shake, and then quiet. I, I don't mean to disturb you, um... It's just looking to find a spot out of the cold. Oh. Roll a persuasion check at disadvantage. Please tell me this guy's fucking strapped. <laughs> Rainbow. <laughs> You're not finding any warmth in here, <laughs> sailor. What, <laughs> sailor? <laughs> <Ten>. <laughs> Did you, did you did you use the guidance? Guidance? Oh, no. Guidance? Guidance? It's a D4. It's a D4. It's a D4. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Nice. You got it, buddy. Hey, it's better than ten. I guess. Is it? Yes. Yes. <sighs> Sarah, what languages do you speak? Oh, God. Oh, oh boy. God. Uh, common, Druidic, Elvish, and Sylvan. All right. Well, despite it not being a language that we have really utilized much at all in the past, you would hear a... Oh, no. For Glenn, you would... What What do you speak again? You're just common orcish and... Abyssal. Abyssal. Okay. Just abyssal. Nice. So, wait! <laughs> wait, what? Don't worry about it. You would hear... You don't worry hear, about it, I die. You would hear a language that you don't understand. Uh, you know, again, like... <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Like, I don't want to set the tone that Sylvan's Italian. Yes! It sounds, Italian! It sounds it's kind Italian! Of Italian. <laughs> when you're here, it's, it's your family, family. It Let's feels go. kind of hysterical to make Sylvan Italian. It's the best is Sylvan. It's, it's like... <laughs> Like Philly he's Italian. Yeah, yeah, so like Fuck he's real. He's real. He's real. Yeah. <laughs> it's Sylvester <Dude>. Stallone. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, how do I do a little oh, Italian oh. girl? It bought many Where's the spaghetti? <laughs> you bought, you sent me a spaghetti and Embrace you know. your inner Jersey Shore. <laughs> yeah, right? There's uh, a no nah, meat in the sauce. Nah. But like, dude, she's like a child. <laughs> like, There's a no meat in the sauce. I don't think I can it's tap great. into like six-year-old South Jersey Shore. <laughs> well, you're like, going to have to. I can give you New York like Italian, but... It was... 
<laughs> you gotta do the, yeah, John, just do the Bobby voice. Go for Bobby. Bobby's Bobby. a great voice. Oh to my do. god, who's out there? Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. That's it. That's fine. What's even funny? Why are you supposed to be so big? <laughs> What? What All the right. fuck? So, you just hear a little girl just say, Who's that out there? <laughs> and then you hear a gruff male voice, which for you, Glenn, you would just say, because you speak Orcish. Oh, God. You would just hear an, or- an Orcish voice just. Uh, I mean, you know, again, we go back to the found you doll, man. You would just hear a. <laughs> In Orcish, uh, so for you, Sarah, you would hear like, <laughs> You would just hear an Orcish man just say, Quiet, please. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like uh, German. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. yeah, so, you know, Orcish is German, <laughs> Sylvan is Italian. <laughs> we got there. Don't it's like fine. This. Uh, you hear in Sylvan it's a little. Italian. You hear a little girl say, Who's out there? And then quickly, Glenn, you hear an orcish man just end in the midst of bobbity boopy. <laughs> you, you hear an orcish man just say, be quiet. Oh my god. Um, in Sylvan, I would reply, uh, we're, we're friendly. You gotta do the accents. <laughs> you gotta do I, the accents, I don't, Sam. I don't know. We're friendly. We're so like friendly. That. We all have gone <laughs> crazy, Sam. I'm your door dad. <laughs> I'm your door dash through in here. Your <laughs> are alive. They're hot and unlimited. You gotta do the Vin Diesel. I don't know how to do this. Just try. You gotta, you gotta start with somewhere. Try somewhere. Do it with the fingers. You, you gotta, you gotta use the hands. Tap into the silver. Yeah. And if you wanna go to New York, you do a little bit of this. Just a little bit. <laughs> go back to this. A little bit of shh in the woods. You don't talk. You talk. You talk. <laughs> the problem is my family is Italian and we don't talk like You're already that. doing it. You're doing, doing it. You gotta just bring it out. I Where is it? What if I just speak normally, but I do this? I love it. <laughs> that's, that's You're just class. next to her door and she starts going. <laughs> Sylvan's with the hands. She's, <laughs> she's casting a spell. And I'm your fucking friend, all right? I cast friendship. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally just her breaking bread. The druid said they're the gods. <laughs> I actually just pull out the spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> I you can't pull the way not the way the way. She's had noodles this whole time? <laughs> the tiny tummy. <laughs> the gravy's on, on the stove. <laughs> there it is, I heard it. I heard yeah, it you had, you're, you're there, you're there. The stove. It's on the stove. <laughs> there it is! You got it! We got it! <laughs> There's we, the accent. We quietly found it within Sarah. I, it's gotta be in there somewhere. Yeah, right? seriously. You've heard it your whole life. Just be <laughs> lazy. Just talk My lazy. cousin Vinny Marissa Tomei. Channel yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, that on balls accurate. <laughs> balls accurate. <laughs> it's an industry term. <laughs> It's not an accent I've practiced. <laughs> no time like oh, here's your chance. No pressure. What are you trying to ask him? Hey, who's uh, out there? <laughs> it's me, little girl. <laughs> it's me, little girl. <laughs> little girl. <laughs> I am a small girl. <laughs> How you doing? Why do you sound like that? I got it. I was loyal and did not. That was literally had me in fucking tears. Just fucking covered in that. I told Don I finally watched the episode of fucking Sunny where Dan beat him covered in sanitizer. Oh, I haven't watched that one yet. I want to be pure. Clips of that shit. Just want to be pure. So there's a slug in there. It's me, little girl. Who's out there? I get uh. Wait. <laughs> Come on. Where are the movements? <laughs> you gotta start with it's, it's on the stove, it's, and then you keep talking. It's. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's, a, it's a common exactly. greeting in silver. You gotta find like the baseline. Ac- exactly. You accidentally find it, <laughs> and then you stay there. It's, yeah. You stumble into it like it a bad recorder in the box. It's, 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 it's just like it's the just Danny DeVito. Yeah, just do Danny DeVito. Exactly. <laughs> See, the problem is I've spent most of my life trying to not have that accent. <laughs> now, now it's the chance to let that go. Exactly. The water. <laughs> yes! 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 Stay there, stay there. That's what's here. The water is here. You ordered some water. The water's on the stove. It's... 
see if it's Philly, it's water. It's water. 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 Yeah. Yeah. water. 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 But if we're going to New York, it's water. <laughs> water. Mm-hmm. And the coffee. Mm-hmm. There, there you go. Yeah. 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 Water's yeah. on the stove to make some coffee. I'm giving the water and the coffee. Maybe they'll. I mean, it's still. Pot of hot coffee's on. What's up? What's up? We are friendly. <laughs> yes, it's yes. a yes. Yes. It's a uh, we clip. It's, it's that is a legitimate natural twenty in my book. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that I you would just say. I think it's Boston. Like, I don't think it's. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Friendly. You're close enough. <laughs> You would just see <laughs> so eagerly. Don't make my dad bark. <laughs> because, because she's hearing oh, Sylvan for the first time in forever, <laughs> this like little girl just like cur- like out <laughs> curls crawls out from like an edge and like pokes her head out and like sincerely like maybe a four or five year old girl like elven girl. That you would immediately see the long pointed elegant ears, beautiful long white hair, like curling down over like her collarbone, where she like tucks out the side of the opening of the igloo and just Hey, there's friends out there. <laughs> it's me, little girl. <laughs> it's me, little girl. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> What's your name? I'll respond I'll respond back in Orcish to the what the man said yeah. as well with uh, like <laughs> We mean you no harm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would hear that little girl would just be like, they speak weird, I don't understand them. I, just, I don't... She can't understand him saying shut the fuck up. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, exactly. laughs> She doesn't speak orc all right? That's great. Are you okay? Yeah, this nice orc man found me out here in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all Call lost. The police. <laughs> Did we find Leon the professional? Yes! 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 Thank you! Yes! <laughs> Oh, we found time. Natalie Portman, yes, guys! Yes, we fucking did! We were literally talking about Gary Oldman while doing the tattoo, and I was like, I gotta put Lee on him! It's probably watching this movie. Um, oh my god. I would take my hood down. Oh, hey, you're like me. All pointy. <laughs> like a prickly pit. What are you doing out here? What do you mean? In... The, the igloo is warm. In the woods? Oh, I live in trees. <laughs> God damn it. Is she cookie? <laughs> <laughs> She's the Lorax. <laughs> damn it! Damn it! <laughs> damn it! <laughs> damn it! <laughs> damn it! <laughs> My Danny DeVito joke spoiled so fast. She speaks for the trees. She does! <laughs> Why are you out in the woods? Yo, you know. <laughs> oh, lady. Like <laughs> hey, lady. Hey, hey lady. lady. <laughs> what are hey, you thoughts. doing out here in the woods? It's when cold. I, yeah, I guess. I guess that's fair. We were traveling. And we we saw your the the path that you left. Oh yeah, that's the horsey. I guess there's a horse, like right. Yeah, I mean, if you guys were like again, <laughs> like walk the like couple feet, yeah, you would see just like again a big Whoa. similar to what you've got, like That's a Clydesdale, crazy. like a dark brown, like beautiful horse. <laughs> the <other> horse dress. <laughs> <laughs> horse. Does he have nah. like, a New York cab hat? Yeah. <laughs> He's got taxi. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, I'm in, all in what language? Ooh, orcish. Okay. So you know, wild fucking runes. <laughs> <laughs> you read it says tax. <laughs> I'm on break right now! <laughs> Come back later. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> the light's not on! Right, it's just rolling <laughs> dice. It smushes the hat with its hoof. With its I... I guess that's a fair question. We... Yeah, we, we followed the path here. Are, are you okay out here? Yeah, I got the orc guy. He's nice. I don't really understand him, but he keeps me safe. Said some stuff for me. <laughs> keeps me safe. I've ever been like wolves and stuff. <laughs> Trying to, you know, eat me. <laughs> hey, you know, stop them. <laughs> stop them. Stop them. You know, you know with, with the axe. <laughs> you know, stop them. No, you just stop. Uh, Knock it off. <laughs> Saddle down. Saddle down. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> you guys speak Orcish back there! <laughs> okay, forget about it! Uh, he's real cool though, he uh, keeps me safe. <laughs> Where did you come from? 
the trees. <laughs> just in, just that's that's all you remember is being in the trees. Where, where? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I uh, I hatched out of an egg. I don't think that's. I you know I've seen I've seen weirder things, so maybe you did hatch. I don't know. I didn't really have any parents. I just kind of woke up in trees one day. <laughs> Sentience clicked one day, so. It's, it's I'm, so I'm gonna turn to Vorst like and in, in common. What was the elephant man's name? Booja? Is it Booja? Yeah. Yeah. He's so on the cusp. I know. I'm trying to say. He's like six seconds away from this little child being like, and then it caught me in the trees. <laughs> I'm really King trying to be yeah, like, yes. yes. <laughs> I know the cusp of Booja is a treacherous cliff. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah. You just approach it from every direction. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At the end of the day, it always finds me. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't got, like, parents or anything. <laughs> just another, you know, elven orphan girl out here. In the woods. <laughs> Get in line, kid! <laughs> um, I feel like you probably sympathize with that. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm from somewhere else. Oh, you're not from the castle? Hold on, I'm losing it. I'm fucking Italian. <laughs> not from oh, the castle. Right. You're not from the castle. No. Me, little girl. No, you're, that's where you're from. You're from the, the castle. <laughs> you yeah. I was a castle kid. <laughs> you're not a castle kid? No. Oh, I, I mean, the castle's gone, so, like, I guess I'm not really a castle kid either. Are they saying? While this is going on, I'm just gonna turn back and look at Felix and be like, <laughs> I do not speak. Do we I, hear this from I where think we're standing? She's casting yeah, magic. If you guys were only like 60 feet away, you would hear it like a distant echo, like, <laughs> I do not speak the like, language that is, I only speak common yeah, English. Yeah, it's like we would like absolutely weird. understand, like, Castle Girl. <laughs> It's also German. <laughs> Somebody say Castle Girl. <laughs> hey, you got another Castle Girl with you. That's it's real nice. Thor, I didn't know you spoke the natural language. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta bubby it up for Retora, you never call anymore. I didn't know you spoke the language. Oh, man. You're right there. Y'all got Easy. a lot of Sylvan in your party. Oh, my God. You it's in the are... blood. You're right. I... Castle blood. I mean. Just we're... dump out of looking at the dude. Kind of. It's... Well, you got castle blood. If you speak you... Sylvan, you got castle, castle blood, blood in you. Where, where did you learn that? What do you mean? The a language? Blood. No, the castle blood. Oh, I mean, I grew up with it. I've well, known it. It's in my. So you're, it's inside of me. I just know that. <laughs> you guys are gonna make me do it, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> you guys do it. Sure. We, they've committed. Yeah, hundred no, percent. I feel like I'm slacking. You gotta bring the castle <laughs> blood. Just try. Once. I haven't had any alcohol. But look at your fingers. You got it. It's in the blood. You like it's gin. all in the fingertips. You want yeah, like gin? Really like good. Not. Take the green one. <laughs> Take the green. Gin. Hey, it's me, Castle Girl, giving you your gin at the igloo. It's rough Very out delicious. here. Thanks for coming. I'm six. So anyway, we're gonna head out of the woods. We're gonna go old. get gin at the igloo. <laughs> Hottest club on this side. <laughs> this side of the north. <laughs> side of ocean. <Oshawa. laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I just knew I grew up how to know how to speak castle. So what? it's a royal language. Who said the words castle to you? You said words. Uh, I mean, Who said the words? I had a, I had a wet word. nurse growing up as a little girl. A wet a nurse? baby, yeah. Somebody you said, to deliver you. You said you were from the trees. Yeah, wet nurse in the trees. Tree nurse. Tree nurse. Wet tree where, nurse. Where wet is, tree nurse. Where is this... <laughs> Where's this I think nurse? It's an arborist. Oh, she's her name sucks. Where did she go? <laughs> I don't know. She delivered me and then kind of left me Talked in the tree here. And fend re- for myself. And you remember that? Yeah. You know, I'm a very uh, well-established little girl. <laughs> I what? am a little girl. Goyle. 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 There you Goyle. go. How old are you? I'll be seven this year. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we keep saying Danny DeVito. She's baby Joe Pesci, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're not wrong. Hey, thoughts. I want to fuck you. I got a lot of things that I need to do with my life. 
thankfully this nice here orcish man is going to help me do those things. Where where did he find you? <laughs> In one of the trees back there. He just took you from a tree? No, I mean, I was just chilling with the birds. <laughs> You're friends with the birds? Oh, I love birds. What, what birds did... are great. <laughs> Maybe it's sports team. But are they real? <laughs> Go, Go birds! birds. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> We definitely won the Super Bowl. They cheated. They cheated. Calls bullshit. That's me, Gord. Bleed green. Go birds. Go birds. Go birds. Go birds. Thank you. Green guy. You know, gets it. you know the greeting of our laughter. Go birds. Go birds. <laughs> Go birds. <laughs> Nesgrim would be livid. Right? <laughs> <laughs> There's just now two canon cities that are just Philadelphia. <laughs> there can only be one. <laughs> that's why. It's, that's why it's not there anymore. <laughs> hey, we fucking shit on that other thing. That was fucking nonsense over there. Oh my god. Hmm. That's Pennsylvania. This is Philadelphia. Yeah, right. I'll fuck with Albany. <laughs> fuck you, New York. <laughs> Uh, so, so you said you was you was raised by birds. You was. Raised. I mean, yeah, you know there were birds in the area, and they put food in my <laughs> mouth, and then I got big and strong. Like, uh, like I'm sorry, you said a bird flew in your mouth. <laughs> no, I mean the birds flew and put food in my mouth. Oh, okay. Like the other baby birds, I was very small. Well, oh, good. Did she? <laughs> Do you just see her face? Do you just see like chin like turn sideways. What is she wearing? You can't see. Like genuinely, you just see. So like, head broken if she's the here, she's like this, like you know, ninety degree angle, almost turned. Like she is on the ground, like very low in the igloo. Uh, I'm gonna speak out after seeing the bippity <laughs> bippity 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 Yeah, there's a lot of bippity and bobbing going <laughs> and a on. lot of like shrugging and looking at you guys. Like I don't fucking know. Yeah. And I'm gonna turn back around and be like, <laughs> yeah. and be like, might we come in for the <laughs> <of a> cold? <laughs> um. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, you can make a persuasion check at advantage at this point because he definitely would be able to discern that, like, the little girl is comfortably talking. Like, yeah, doesn't speak yeah, to She's not, like... Yeah, she's not terrified. She's she seems like she's enjoying talking with two other people. I just like the and idea that, like... And he didn't stop her from talking. Exactly, yeah. And I'm sure he feels some type of way, too, about, like, oh, th he's speaking Orcish to me, yeah. so mm -hmm. that's... Just the idea of, like, Orcish being mid-Atlantic. It's like, oh, well, might we come in for a yeah, right. snack? Just a 1960s newscaster. Yeah. This just in. <laughs> this just in. You're invited into the igloo. <laughs> It's gonna be a nine. This just is. A nine. You. <laughs> come in. You heard. With her. What specifically did you ask? Me? I'm sorry. Uh, might we come in from the cold, friend? Yeah. Or we could blow the house down. <laughs> Big bad wolf. Yeah. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> I mean, sure. Stop it. I hate this. He would say, sure. <laughs> sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah, bah. Again. yeah, it sounds like. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> And I'll just like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and I'll look back at you guys and be like, should we uh, get the others and at least bring them closer? <laughs> I, no, no, no. Then we shouldn't no, say long. No. Let's get an idea of what's going on here first before we bring them in. All right. They're scared. <laughs> I would turn back to the group. Just, there's a little girl that said she was. Uh, Can't word this. Um, picked up and saved by an orc. She said she was born in the trees, but also was from the castle. Raised by birds, but also had a wet nurse. In the trees. In the trees. Isn't that an arborist? I don't know what that is. Someone who takes care of a tree. Uh, tree wet nurse, right? I, I, is that what you're trying to I tell me? I don't think she's a tree, though. What the fuck are you I saying? Think she's an a eladrin. child made out of a tree. I think she's made out of <laughs> eladrin. 100% eladrin. 100% real eladrin. We got a deal on this. <laughs> Just smack oh. it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the deal with the orc is, but uh, I don't know why she was... I don't think you're worried about the orc. I'm a little worried about the orc. No, I don't worry about the orc. Why are you worried about the orc? Why does he have a five-year-old? Huh? She's seven. She seems comfortable. He also did not... <laughs> More numbers. He also did Semantics. not stop her from talking. Yeah, he only 
I told her to be quiet. And then she started talking anyway. She said he's very nice. I think he was just trying to protect her. Maybe. Just I'm curious about their connection. Perhaps we can find out. I'm going to uh, find out. Yeah. Um, you go first. She seems to like you. Hey, yeah, come yes. on in when you hear your family. Thank you very much for your attendance. <laughs> what would you like for dinner this evening? Does it look like an all garden inside? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is really nicely decorated. <laughs> you guys... Just that's yeah, a more playing in the distance. <laughs> I'm going going towards the igloo? Creep on into the igloo. Into the igloo. Or I, I, up to the... I don't know where... She's peeking out the yeah. entrance, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, the entrance isn't like, you know, ludicrously thick. Yeah. The igloo walls would be, you know, maybe like a foot in width. So like... When she's leaning at the edge of the interior, it's not like she's ludicrously far as you guys are approaching the actual entrance. Yeah. So, you know, a foot and a half or two away from you. Can I, like, check the entrance to see if there's anything that, like, might indicate there's a trap or something set for us? What kind of trap do you think might be set for you? I don't like, know. Like, in if, terms of what you're looking for. Like, something that would maybe, like, close off the igloo that we're trapped inside. Like, it's something around snow. the entrance. It's yeah. Made, it's made out of snow. Magic Correct. is real. And these guys are in the woods. I don't know, like whether there's like string or like any like yeah, rope or something. You, you, like you can make an investigation check as you're walking into the threshold of the igloo, since you are also with this party of two people up here, further ahead of everybody. Where you have a small child. Hey, when you hit your family. So right? you said you said orc and, and little girl, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's an eleven. In regards to you having never been in an igloo before because you grew up inside of a hut and then inside of the perimeters of the walls of Oshwamp, Mm -hmm. I would say that this would feel like a very unnatural structure to you simply because you've never been in one. Okay. And like, in regards to like, obviously as genuine human beings out of game, like we understand the composition for what like a dome is and for like how to construct an igloo at least to a degree. It would almost feel like as you're entering, it's like, this thing itself feels... Like a house. Unnatural. Like, unnatural in terms of, like, they have a fire in here. Like, this is all, like... like physics don't make sense. Yeah, like, like what this, is this, this isn't clicking for me. <laughs> and, like, less that you're distracted and more just kind of, like, taking in the abundance of the scenery ahead of you. And, like... Like the, in awe. Yeah, genuinely. Kind of, like, all Kind of confusion. Like, a, a blend of emotional state. Okay. Uh, for regards to, like, an eleven. Um, and then you two are at the front. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, like, as you, again, in regards to the... You said act- it was, like, a three-foot opening, so, like, yeah, I gestured three feet to her in, to go in first. Yeah, three like, she feet seems in width, to like you. Yes. Three feet in width, roughly only, like, a foot or so um, in terms of, like, dimension for the actual width of the snow compound itself. So you would be going in first. Mm-hmm. So with it being a three-foot width, I would say that you'd be able to see in a little bit better. You'd see that there's just... Uh, genuinely, again, a small divot, like, hole dug down into the actual ground. The snow in here seems like it's been cleared and pushed up against the interior walls of the igloo. So you would see the natural, again, very damp, grassy-like uh, terrain and surface for the ground, meaning, like, they've really pushed their time into making mm-hmm. sure that they're not sitting on uh, necessarily, like, compact snow. Mm-hmm. Um you would see that there's that hole dug in for the little campfire. You would see two bedrolls. Uh, you would see that there is a small crate that looks like it's got genuinely just um, what would look to you like root vegetables. So you'd see like, you know, radishes and turnips and other like genuinely for you as a druid, root vegetables. Yeah. Um, you would see that there is a, a thin uh, wooden drying rack where you can see that there's a large overcoat similar to what you guys are wearing in terms of like big white fur like definitely white cloth white fur lined big fucking like probably for similar to what you would know uh would have fit like reirda as like an eight foot tall possessed individual so like an enormous fucking coat and then in the corner kind of resting on what would look to you like you know a log that had been split so this way it's flat on bottom and flat on top just nestled into a corner of the snow. Again, it's a circle. I respect that there's not actually going to be corners, but into a corner of the mm-hmm. dome area, you would see a. You would see an orcish man that looks. 
very strange to you. You, as you step in, like right behind her, would recognize an orc that is pallid green, stained with like various white chalk markings of orcish runes underneath the eyes, around like the interior of like, you know, again, he's got like a, a dark black goatee, dark black greasy hair, kind of like slicked back where it goes down almost around shoulder length but like around the edges for where the goatee doesn't continue, towards the edges of the jawline, you would see orcish runes traced. You would see underneath his beard, it would look almost like they were actually scarred or possibly burned into his skin. Underneath the black framing of his goatee, <clears throat> he would be dressed in simple adventurer's garb. So like a brown tunic, brown horsehair pants. Like he's definitely gotten, you know, nice fur lined gear and attire for being able to survive out here in the winter. Um, his one eye, you would see, would definitively have, uh, scarring going over the one eye. It would be milky and opaque, so, like, clearly has lost sight in his left eye, probably from some kind of grievous wound based upon the, uh, diagonal slash over his eye. Comes to the bridge of his nose, um, yeah, I mean, he looks like he is just kind of sat there, Pensively watching as the two of you step into this, you know, roughly uh, 15 feet in diameter circular domicile that has been hastily constructed. Since you are the first person in here as well, Sarah, I will tell you that as you step in and look kind of to your left and look at the area in which there is a little girl, I would say that you would see for the first time for what would feel kind of strange... Um, based upon just overall presence, you would see, same thing, long eladrin ears, the long white hair, but for the first time, seeing her now at a better vantage point, you would see the lower half looks still humanoid, but you would see a pair of white, almost eagle-like wings, short, behind her stretching down like the edges of her back mm -hmm. you would see that as she's gripping the edges of the igloo himself igloo itself for the wall for the interior you would see claws like the hands and feet of a bird so like again we've not really experienced many aracocra or anything like that or adjacent but yeah always seen as the uh, the one owl kind person. Alvin, yeah, yeah exactly so like again would f appear similar in terms of like you especially as a druid you would recognize like the natural presentation of an individual that has some kind of genuine um bird hereditary in mm -hmm. regards to either an aracocra possibly an alkin like not really apparent to you but the presentation of like elven face elven ears elven hair like yeah. genuine like oh my god like an eladrin but the lower like two-thirds definitively feels similar to like aracocra mm -hmm. but like she's in clothing so yeah. like when the owl kin was also present uh, presented earlier it was like owl face humanoid hands though mm -hmm. she seems like she is Sounds like she sounds like the description of like a harpy. Almost. Correct. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. Like it's very difficult for me to say you found an Eldrin harpy, mm -hmm. but you found an Eldrin harpy. Yeah. Like, sincerely, yes. Yeah. yeah so that's, like, yeah. Yeah. As a DM, sometimes you try to put things in a language that veils the true thing. You found an Eldrin harpy. You see what you see. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You see an Eldrin harpy. Yeah. You said he's. Is he lighter green or darker green? He is a light green in coloration for his skin tone and has the, like, white chalk markings, like, on his face. You can see in the areas, like, you know, he's got with his tunic that ends kind of, like, mid-bicep sleeves, you can see that he's got what would look like bandings of white tattoos around his arms going towards the back of his hands. You would see a handprint, small kind of inlaid over the back of his hand, like a tattoo on each side. It looks like genuinely he is just kind of sitting there, hands at his side, pensively watching the two of you walk in. But again, simple garb. Doesn't look yeah. like he's armed or anything. And the lighter green orcs are the ones that we had traded with successfully in the past, correct? It was the darker green is the one that we had the issue with because they were the ones further west. No, the lighter greens were the ones that were the plague-born orcs. They were the yeah, ones okay. that actively were attempting to spread a disease. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. 
I will also say, like, again, genuinely, as you take, like, a step in and kind of more closely look at him, in the area in which you see that there is scarring over his left eye towards the bridge of his nose, you would see, again, with pale green skin, there would be almost a bit of translucency to it. You'd be able to see that the veins that extend around the edges of the ocular region of the eye are blackened. Okay. Like, any boils and or sores, I'm assuming, on him? In terms of, like, underneath, like, going in the area of, like, his throat and around the edges of, like, his neck, probably going towards his back? Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna go through the opening and kind of, like, pull my head up and, like, look and, like, stop almost immediately. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and I'll pull my hood back so you can actually see what I look like. I mean, you know, huh? Neutral ground. Child. Fair. Friends. Fair. Yeah. Again, that would be an orcish. Yeah. And like, <laughs> <"Hala!"> like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like screaming at each other. Yeah, but then like he would genuinely like also like mirror sort of your hands that. and like elevate his hands. Little harpy girl would like stand upright. Where, especially now that you're in the area, you would see she's maybe like two and a half feet tall. She's, so small. <laughs> she's like holy shit, like real fucking small. Wow. Like again, kind oh, of. God, like, she's Tweety Bird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. But, you know, again, like, white wings and everything, like, it would, especially now that, like, you're seeing her close, it would almost seem like, as you're standing in her area and she, like, stands up right next to you, the inside of her wings would look spotted. So almost sincerely now more that you're seeing her in her full stature, more like an owl, Mm -hmm. like a spotted owl as opposed to an eagle. Hey, thank you for coming in. You gotta find it again, I understand. It's okay. You lost it. Let me the introduce pasta's myself. Pasta's on the stove. Yeah, I mean, uh, look, guy, not the best at making new stove to make coffee. I'm teaching him. It's hard with the language barrier. He doesn't always understand. I tell him to cut long and he cuts sideways and they all come out fucking wrong. But it's me. I'm here. I'm happy to meet you. My name's Yaz. Yes! J A Z. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you like yes. <laughs> Wait a second. Hey, yes. Wait a second. Was that, what did hey, you say, yes. Dylan? What was the first line? Raz, what are you doing? <laughs> whoa, yeah. whoa. It's only weirdly one letter away. Let's not pay too much attention. But the accent. I'm just a small girl. Yeah, exactly. I'm just a little girl. Come on, yes. Here in the world. It's it's the the I know, yeah. but it's... It's small <laughs> enough. Honey berry. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds good. Dude, strawberry and honey berry Ooh. sounds real good. Honey baked ham. <laughs> honey baked ham. <laughs> ham? <laughs> we just hear it echoing. Ham! <laughs> just burst through the egg. Is that like fucking like apple ham? Like the Kool-Aid, the Kool-Aid man? man. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, hey, I stole it. Knocked down the snow. It was right. him yelling, honey baked ham. <laughs> oh. I could also speak in common, if that's easier. You can... Oh my god, thank goodness. <laughs> Hello. I kind of like the this. Silver. Who's that out there? Uh, hey, who's that other friend? You got other friends here with you? Is he good, legit, yes. safe? Yes. <laughs> All right, so you're no problem. <laughs> Your friend has vouched for you. Yes. Bibbity boppity. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill him if he crosses me. Uh, uh, bippity boppity to you too. Don't say that. I'm, I'm very <laughs> sorry. He just said he was gonna kill me if I if if, if I cross him. No, he didn't. <laughs> I heard him. So did I. He said that he meant to. My name is Ethier. Very nice to meet you, Ethier. My name is Yaz. Very nice to meet you as well, Yaz. Um. You can kind of make room in the igloo. We'll pile in against the sides. It's cold. Igloo? Yeah, it's one of those fucking snow houses. Oh, why something. didn't you just say that? Yeah, sorry. Uh, you know, castle talk. Snow house. <laughs> it's kind of like a tree house, but shitty. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. You're right. <laughs> you had a wet nurse too, I can tell. Uh, something like that. Uh, well, I 
Let's come inside. Quite a bit like that. Yeah, come on. We got a lot to talk <laughs> we got about. Got a lot to talk about. <laughs> come on in, Ethia. All right. And That's... you can bring whatever other friends you would like. Everyone's summer. welcome here in the snow hut. <laughs> Very friendly place. You sound a lot like Iris. <laughs> all, right, all right. Yeah, I'll, I'll go in. Yeah. How long have you been here? In this snow hut here? Yes. Only like, you know, maybe an hour. We just we just finished building. Oh. Trying to settle in before the night. You know, there's wolves and bears and shit out there. He can only hit so many before they, you know, claw at him. If you don't mind me speaking in common. Oh yes, of course. I can also speak in common. <laughs> how how long have you um, been uh, in companionship with the orc? When did he find you? Last full moon? I was kind of out in the trees, alone. You know, just wandering around. Talking with various birds and trying to okay. see what was the winter was going to be like. I try my best to use my magic to avoid any bad weather. <laughs> but it was if it's much easier schedule. Mm-hmm. You, um... It's the Olive Garden. We need your family. <laughs> Don't judge me for having a drink. It's <laughs> under the cemetery. Half the sunset. Moment. It was more than something that scared me. Yeah. <laughs> Unsettling. But so. For you me. keep making mention of this castle. Yeah. Which castle do you speak of? Oh, that Alglatha place. I'm supposed to go, uh... Whitehall? No, Alglatha. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I Whitehall? said the geography is real bad. Could, could you I... speak in common, please? We oh, all... yes, I'm sorry. She keeps mentioning a castle. Oh. Whitehall's not a castle. Whitehall's like a a fortified place. How do you know that? I'm uh, a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little girl. I, I, I would also a... like to enter the igloo with yeah. this fucking... Yeah, you <laughs> enter into the igloo. Welcome to family. Welcome to Algard. Welcome to family. When you're here, you're Algard. When you're here, you're Algard. Holy shit, that man's fucking green. I mean, Hello so your, there, good sir. So is that one. So is your other friend. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That's just rude. What's your orc friend's name? <laughs> oh, I just call him orc friend. <laughs> you speak orcish, right? No. You were yelling at him a little bit ago. <laughs> So hard, I'm like picking up the line. You, you, you were speaking. This was yelling at him. I heard you. <laughs> You're speaking Sylvan at force. I recognize. <laughs> I recognize. <laughs> <Orcish. laughs> I don't speak it, but I recognize it. Okay. What's his name? I also speak common. <laughs> What's your name? Then how do you speak common? Then how do you? That, 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 Wait, that, 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 I've killed them. Yeah, you're great at that. Mm. Yeah, so, you're, so you're saying... <laughs> so in Elvish, I'll say, it's a miracle they've survived this. <laughs> to anybody who can understand it She would probably... I mean, would she... Mm, I don't know if she would speak I'll Elvish. I'll say it in Elvish. It's okay. a miracle they've survived this don't long. Don't speak Elvish. Yes, I know. <laughs> she would speak Elvish yeah. as well. No accent. Only silver. <laughs> so it's it, the trees. <laughs> you guys found each other. I found her. And where did you find her? Yes. At the bottom of a tree. Said to him in something in a different language. So. And then you responded, speak in common, but you said it in Orcish. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. It was a very tense moment. You said broka blau. <laughs> it means speak in common. Yes, there was again a, uh, <laughs> an owlbear <laughs> that was tearing apart a deer only a few feet away. I guess in my haste I didn't think to speak in common tongue. It's fine. But I slew the owlbear and carried her. She was unconscious, so I was very worried. I guess in that regard it wouldn't have mattered if I spoke in common because she was not <laughs> awake. So me yelling, <laughs> uh, 
If anything, I think just loaded the album. <laughs> yes. Might have explained the difficulty of the battle with the album. She's just screaming at Sylvan, Somebody help me, please! And he's like, I can't understand you speak common! <laughs> Not in common, <laughs> no! no. <laughs> Do we understand the words coming out of my mouth? I wish I was a more insightful man. I'm sorry. Sir, what is your name? Oh. Uh, uh, you would know in Orcish. No, no, uh, no, no, in Orcish, that to you would translate as fell fool. Travis. <laughs> fell? Yeah. Which in Orcish, you would know means demon caller. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Like so demon caller. <laughs> yeah, Phil. Phil. We have already encountered Phil. Enough devils Ooh. and demons. You don't Demon know that. Caller. You don't know we that. We literally brought the devil to the turtle's house. You don't know <laughs> that. You don't know what his name means. His name is Because I didn't say shit yet. She <laughs> brought the devil to his house. That's true. That was the answer. Oh, forgive me. In common, my name is Fel Thul. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting How name. How would you spell that? F-E-L. <laughs> the common way. <laughs> space. Space. <laughs> T-H-U-L. I didn't add a space. It's That's too late. I didn't add a space. My name is Phil Ertl. Ertl. I wrote Phil. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Filthy. <laughs> I've been working on my new books. <laughs> that, is a, that is a nice name. Thank you. It's good to meet all of you. I'm certain you all have names. Yes, uh, Ethier. Pleased to meet you. Hey, hey me too. It means wanderer. Me too. Very nice to meet both of you. Wanderer. It means wanderer. Felix, what's your name mean? My name is Asparagus Tendergrass. What are you talking about? (laughs) Gus? Felix? (laughs) His name means vegetable. (laughs) Rutabaga? I'll call you Rutabaga. What? (laughs) Root vegetable. Call me rude. Or would you prefer turnip? Reddish. All I heard was root vegetable. Yeah. All right. He said that uh, your name means vegetable. Yeah, and uh, Retora, what's your name mean? Does Retora know what Retora's name (laughs) means? Before I say I don't know. Demon call. <laughs> so mean demon call. Pact maker. Imagine. If after three and a half years, I had to say, yeah, I made it mean demon call. <laughs> the accursed one. No, I would say. Like, is it normal to know what exactly your name means? Yeah, I mean, first name. Do first names aren't typically. Have, like they don't carry a lot of weight. Depends on the last name. Yeah, I don't have a last with name. Stories, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So like some of them might, but I mean it's up to you if you just want to say like again it's your character. Like if you I just mean, want to I say didn't... like it's a pretty thing my parents named me. Yeah, I didn't write her with it necessarily yeah. meaning anything. I don't know if hmm? she didn't Are know that. A pretty thing I, I think sincerely <laughs> as a justification for her not knowing, a lot of elven names come from portmanteau of like combining multiple words. You don't know just definitively mm-hmm. what those words that they would have chosen could have been. Like it's not like you know like oh the prefix r mm-hmm. or retour. You don't know because there are words that comprise various parts of your overall name. So like does your name have a true meaning? You don't know. Mm-hmm. My parents kept a lot of stuff from me. So they, like, did <laughs> they did indeed. They did indeed. Feel that. Right? <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't know what it means. To Orkish, that would be demon caller. <laughs> <laughs> demon caller? Yes. Are you talking about her? Yes. Demon caller. You've well, well, it would kind of make sense. Retor meaning demon. <laughs> <laughs> and ah. Uh, <laughs> meaning. Uh. One who yells ah. Uh. <laughs> Cannon. <laughs> <It's> Cannon. <laughs> Wait, doesn't his name mean. Demon caller? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you don't know that. Only Vorst does, alright? Well, we certain people speak Orkin. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. That's what that Your means. name means the same thing as my name. 
His yeah. name is my name too. <laughs> Demon caller. <laughs> we are one. And the same. I see the resemblance. Thank you. I am beautiful. <coughs> why why would they call you that? <coughs> Demon caller. That was to be my trade. How so? To learn the name of a demon is to hold power over it. I was to learn the name of demons. That's not working out for you. So far, not great. I found this little girl. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not a demon. I'm not certain. (laughs) I promise, you have bird feet. (laughs) That's normal. It's not. She's also an elf. She's a different one. Fair. Are you familiar with bird feet? For the elves. Uh, no, I, I, I didn't. You're a demon. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, we'll do some tests or something. Yes. Like what kind? I don't know yet. Fitness gram pacer. Yeah, this is, this is very hard work. Have you ever done this before? <laughs> I've tried. How has it gone? Terribly. We should have spoken common a week ago. I agree. A week! (laughs) It's been a hard week. Caring for a child who you do not understand. I'm hungry. I know. Wait, how? You look hungry. I do? Yes, you're looking at the pot of noodles very anxiously. (coughs) Well, yeah, I mean, they smell fucking delicious. I can't understand you! (laughs) Bless you. Thank you. What, line, what, tight. what language is that, Joe? Abyssal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> sneeze it instead of sneeze. Why do you have to sneeze every time you have to? Right. <laughs> what? Why are you all out here? I know there's demons within Alglatha, and that's why I was coming here. I stumbled upon the child and have been doing my best to keep her safe. But you're heading towards Alglatha. Indeed. With the child. No, I was trying to get out of the Felwood. I got a bit lost. I'm not from here. Where are you from? Narenta. Uh, things are not going very well. You think? Yes, the efforts to uh, stop the spread have not been working. Stop the spread of what? The rot. Your tribe is trying to stop the spread of the rot? I am. Oh, is just you. Is that what got you? And I'll point to his eye. Got yeah. His eye. Indeed. One of my own as I left. Hold me a coward and struck out my face. They are trying to spread it and you are trying to stop it. Yes, that. What Your do you need? is better than mine. What do you need a demon for? What do I need a demon? I don't. They wanted me to learn the true names of demons. That I might know the name of the demon that rests within the mountains. That I might control it. Hmm. But I am... Well... I don't think I'm built for that kind of work. Treacherous. Dangerous. Who fed uh, Reardon the... Eggs. Uh, probably, <laughs> <guys>. probably <laughs> the, yeah, those guys. <laughs> These guys. Uh, uh, why? Why do they like demons so much? That's a good thing we didn't bring Raider here, because we would have eaten him immediately. I'm just gonna say shrug. Yep. So what? you honestly want me to believe that? I. I imagine it would be impossible for me to convince you otherwise. Understandably. Yeah. I understand that we are on neutral ground right now and we have a gentleman's agreement. But should this have happened any other way, things may have went differently. Yes, I'm sure my head would be on the snow. Unlikely. (laughs) But I'm willing to hear you out. Well, I'm not much of a fighter. Kind of a, um... 
medicine man attempting to heal the earth not the easiest task by finding demons again that was what my people wanted me to do I didn't express any interest in that myself I was named by the clan I do not get to change my name why not um I suppose that's a fair point I'll just look around the igloo I could be called whatever I want I suppose yeah in uh, many elven cultures the about Tim nope <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean Tim's a good name where did you even hear that name like Timber no I like hear yeah. loggers yelling it out in the woods sometimes yeah, I'm not for months <laughs> I do not know who Tim Burr is but I would very much like to be known as Tim or Burr <laughs> Burr, Burr, Burr is Burr. a good name, yeah, Burr. It feels appropriate for the Burr cold is good. nature. Burr's good, not Tim, not fucking Tim, <laughs> not Tim, I'm not doing another Tim thing, no, I'll kill him, I'm not so I'm not I'm, I'll murder him, <laughs> right here, I'll kill the man, we take the girl. <laughs> I've, been, I've been printing these posters. <laughs> nope, he's dead, look at that, weird, you're gonna take 88 psychic damage, right now. <laughs> I could go by Burr. In, in many elven cultures, the... I'm not an elf. I understand, but as far as names go, um, and naming conventions, the last name of the elf is not always a family name. It is sometimes a, a, a given name that is based on the thing that they do in life. Their, um, not necessarily job, but the thing they choose to pursue. Like Tim Earth Healer. <laughs> yes. I would like to be Tim Earth Healer, please. Is that what you do? I try. There is a much blight that plagues the land out here. No Tim's. I'm a druid by nature. Then we have something in common. Your name's Tim? <laughs> uh, Earth healer. Yes. All right. <laughs> or <laughs> Tim. It's good to meet you, Earth healer. How are things going for you? Not well. Oh, dear. <laughs> Nor for me. I have been gathering many um, herbal remedies and trying to find uh, an avenue into Alglatha. I know that they were stewards of the earth and caretakers for it. I believe that their magic would be beyond capable of fixing the current blight that plagues the lands here of the north. Um, knowing what we know about the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the tree of life that yeah, was yeah, yeah, yeah. in El Glatha yeah, 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 yeah. and how it was hidden away yeah, for yeah. safety. Yeah. Uh, insight check and see if yeah. there's any. Uh... Or oh, do you? Who <laughs> <laughs> oh. <Holy>! we? <laughs> 24. Ooh, whoa. <laughs> um, Ooh, woo. <laughs> I would Don't also forget your guidance. be uh, <laughs> if you about, want to use it. like Alglatha and things like this, just watching for like facial tics and other things. I use my guidance just for twenty-eight. <laughs> what do you know? You can roll with this uh, roll with disadvantage because you're trying to read facial tics on a person that you don't know. Sure, sure. For uh, perception or insight? Insight. Okay. You see the way he's blinking his dead eye. <laughs> 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 Natural 20 and a natural 1, so... No! Natural 1, natural one <laughs> teach. <laughs> I got nothing. 28, you said, Sarah? Yeah. What's the difference? <laughs> you gotta get his whole life story. It all started when I was a boy. <laughs> natural 1T. Oh, 1T. 1T. I'm gonna kill Tim. Burr. Burr's oh. fine. Say Tim one more time, John. Again, hard to discern that just from exclusively mm -hmm. facial, you know, um, ticks and things like that, like Don's talking about. Yeah. But in terms of just like the cadence and where he's speaking, 
you would feel that through the various pauses mm -hmm. and like the the tonation. Uh, and then yeah, no, de uh, genuinely Don rolled a unfortunate disadvantage, natural one. Uh, so I don't feel like there's anything really that I need to wait to give him for when he comes back. Mm -hmm. But that, like, obviously still ambiguous mm -hmm. and intentionally vague, but they would definitely feel like there is more to what he's saying in that regard. Okay. Um, Tim. Healing. You were asking about Alglatha, Glenn? No, we were good. We'd done that. Oh, the last thing was Don asking about that, and then Sarah asking about the inside. So I would say that the conversation would continue from that point forward in regards to you asking about um, how things are going and him explaining, like, genuinely not very well. Yeah. Mirroring my own. Yeah, sincerely. Mm -hmm. Um... Well, I suppose since you're here, it's taken most of what's left. There are few that are not consumed by him. Mm. It does not exclusively present with hallucination. Some have been able to almost channel it into something a chance to reach beyond the limits of well mortality for a time I think that is why they tried to do it to your people forgive me as a person that was well a resident of the Black Citadel A man of medicine. I cautioned them against its spread. Yeah. They said that they needed to see how it affected others. Mm-hmm. They did it to dwarves and elves alike. Mm-hmm. Subjected them to testing. Terrible, yes. I know. Man of medicine, you say? It is why I left. They asked me to research the dead, the dying, the infirmed. I could only listen to their wails for so long before I... Before I broke. It is not easy to leave the chains of the Black Citadel. Yeah. Something about the last man changed me. He cried for home. You could have left. You could have helped any one of them leave. Yes. Instead you ran. Yes. Leaving them behind to suffer. I know. No amount of atonement I pay towards the world can repay the debt I owe to all of those who died within those cells. The worst, cages. the worst is the death that was felt outside of those cages. The death that was brought to this world because of what you were doing. I understand it may have not been you in particular, but the fact that you allowed this to happen yes. is unforgivable. I know. This is a pain felt by myself and many others. This is a pain felt by me twofold. I have lived as a bad man and will die as a bad man. I know that. I will not ask forgiveness. I ask only that you give me the time to try to change what has been wrought before I it is wrought upon me. Funny thing about that. You seem to have found me in a very interesting part of my life. But things just don't quite seem to make sense to me. <laughs> but it works out for you. Two of the people who 
I've personally experienced the death from this. It does not cause death. That much I know. Mm -hmm. It changes you. Yeah. You become something different. Mm -hmm. I don't think he understands the full extent. I don't think he does either. Have you seen what they become? Yes. In totality? <laughs> yes. Yes, I have. As have we. It cost me and my brother our lives. You've watched one grow? I've watched one explode and tear my head off. As, as strange as it might seem, roll a performance check. I'm good at those. Yes. Are you talking about the rot or the demons? Demons. That's sincerely why I'm asking. Mm -hmm. Four. You well, said rip your head off, right? Mm -hmm. I guess it's that was your line. Uh, rip. <laughs> Forgive me. What? You speak not of the Tanner Rook. No. What? I think he speaks of the rot. Um. What did you see to totality? I have seen a person unravel. Their flesh almost unwind from the skin, consumed by the rot within. What did they become? Not a demon. Again, that is why my studies, I, I differ. I do not want to learn the names of demons that are held within deep burial chambers. I felt as though the rot was the more pressing matter. Something worth studying. Other men of medicine forced people to consume fragments of demon nature in the flesh to imprison it not to imprison it friend I think you are lied to about why you were called the demon caller I'm sorry I don't understand you are not meant to call forth them you were meant to control them they were raising an army, destroying lives, to call forth demons, feeding them until they no longer simply fit in the host. You, you can know. say he genuinely just kind of pauses and like looks at the fucking ground in here and just like puts his fingers by his temples. You know this word, Tanarok? Yes. You know what it is. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, they, they were fearful. They were fearful. I know that some had given in to the temptation, the allure of the power of demon blood, but this world is burdened by more than one problem. Your friends at the Citadel were calling forth the Cloven Hooved. The Horned One. They were transforming people into these things. What? What? No. No, we wanted to stop the spread. We... We needed to find people that were resistant. We had hope for dwarves, but it is not poison. It is some festering disease, but I do not understand why demons. 
I had always presumed that because abyssal creatures, things not of this plane, had a life different from our own, I had thought, I had thought that the answer laid without, outside of us. Maybe they had the same thought. They fed these things until they were just about ready and then pulled the plug and left them. Not fully reached. The demon would be partially grown inside and hungering non-stop. They might have thought that this was some way of prolonging their life making them stronger. Twelve souls. One short. Souls? Demonic Black Black stone. Yes. Black stones. Yes, fell stone. Containing a heart. Smoke. Oh. Yes. Symbols carved in their chest. Oh, you... You're wrong. We... Those men... They volunteered. We saw it with our own eyes. They were taken forcibly. No, those men volunteered. They were... They were supposed to resist the rod. They were supposed to be immune. Did you watch them volunteer, or were you told they were... I mean, uh, they were not my, they were not my test subjects. They were people that were brought to me that I was told would be able to prevent the spread. It seems you were misled. Oh, no, that's not possible. Something here is wrong. Deeply wrong. (laughs) What man was this? What man? Forgive me. Like you? My brother. No, we would have... We would have never... We would have never used a shifter. We saw it with our own eyes. All of us. Don't believe me? No, I... I believe you, but I don't understand why a shifter was chosen. When? Did Reardon tell you that an orc was the one that fed him? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, he was kept he was in the Black yeah. Citadel. He escaped. He escaped. Yeah. When, when he consumed the 13th egg. You say egg. Yes. You mean a fell stone? A fell stone, yes. Demon stone? Where did he get this? We found it. A, Where? A dwarven child found it beneath a church in Oshwamp. In Oshwamp? Yes, in an old church. It's funny what you find in Oshwamp. <laughs> You're from there? All of you? What? Currently. Sure. Not long term, but most recently. Displaced no. there, yes. No, your friend did not eat a fell stone. Fell stones are fragments. You say 13? This man ate? Yes. Fell stones. Impossible. He was fed 12. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll like however big it, it was. The stone? Yeah. Oh, no, dude. It was like... Oh, okay. I, it was I assumed like, it was... Uh, okay, no, I assumed it was... Like, it, was like, oh! <laughs> it, was like, it was like an egg. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Remember as, it, it's as, a suppository! As, oh, God! As he, <laughs> as he gestures, I would say, if you'd like, I can show you. Yeah, I would have looked at you as we had this conversation. Show me what? It'll be burned into your memory. I'm confused, but... All right. I'll approach him. Can you project it? And I'll touch his temples. Yeah, I mean, he would initially kind of, like, lean back. <laughs> Forgive me, I don't know you. You are not in danger. If I wanted... 
I don't want to harm you. Fine. Yeah. Thought you was down this is going to be traumatic. I don't want to hurt you physically. <laughs> She's going to suck a lot. So you, you show him the memory of Rear to Yeah, I would show him uh, Rear to jumping on Vorst, consuming the. With the fucking the, tendril yeah. legs jumping out of his chest. Yeah, shit. yeah, with like his. Yeah, everything that was happening yeah. from my perspective. Yep. The whole, him the eating whole mess the egg, of the him mm-hmm. exploding, and then running away um, with Vorst. I'm and, sorry, he didn't eat the 13th egg. I thought he ate it. Nope. No, no, that's why like they ripped jumped out of him. Yes. That's right. We gave it yeah, to the right. sea creature. I oh, ran away right. with it. You're that's right. right. Oh, thank God. It's still... Okay, right. I would have also, like, looked at you gesturing about the uh, the knife that you have in your pocket. Like, looking at you and then looking at the bag. Nah, none of that. <laughs> you show him the memory. Yep. You would pull away as the memory concludes? Yeah. Unless, you know, he, you know, uh, if I picked up anything from him, like... You know, just... The memory doesn't include where the final stone went, right? No. No, because no. he wasn't with you. He was you, just, yeah, you, know, you ran. running away. With you you ran away as a stoat, right? Yeah, yeah you were stoat. you were gone. Yeah. I told you later, but I don't <laughs> know if that... Yeah, he wouldn't include that. Yeah, you getting any kickback? Yeah, Yeah, any any kickback? Do I get any... Uh, trauma uh, swaps? Uh, yeah, trauma swaps, Felix Erotica, I don't know. <laughs> I would say you can roll with Check. <laughs> <laughs> Just you want a bearskin rug? Get fireplace going to that gun. Let me roll the, me roll the <laughs> green one. <laughs> oh no. It's an 11? Mm. A lot of 11s tonight. Yeah, really. Um, there would be, as you're showing this to him, an overwhelming sensation on his face. And like in his in his body language as like he initially recoils away from you just almost of like complete and utter dismay and almost like abandonment just like emptiness and like as your hands move away from his head you would see that he just kind of looks uh, genuinely like again I know we utilize the, the term like shell shocked but like just just nothingness at the fire ahead of him yeah just blank. That was no Philstone. And that was no Tadarok. Your friend is the Horned King. Was. Whatever he may be, he is no longer. That, that's not how that works is no longer. Once a soul is stained, it is forever. We know that to be untrue. When a soul is stained, yes, it must be paid for in death. Your friend is dead? Yes. And your fantastical beast, the king, is banished. I do not wish to see the Horned King walk this plain. My people do. They believe it is the only thing that can eat the rotting one. Hungry man. Okay, got it. (laughs) Do they wish to spread the rot or... No, they wish to eat it. And then... While the Horned King is... Well, debilitated to kill it as well. The goal of Oshwamp is to live in a world where there are no gods. It is a problem that the Rotting One is one, and still persists here and is growing. The Rotting One is a god? How is that possible? The decaying carcass of one. That still clings to deep roots that run here beneath the soil. That seeks to leech the land of its life. That it may claim it as its own. It wished to rot the whole world. You gotta give it, you know, you gotta give it to the guy. You know. <laughs> hey, hey, he's got, you know, he's got throughput. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's mad. You never did clarify what exactly happens when the rot consumes a person. You said that they're... It calls them home. 
How so? <laughs> Body like and a soul? Triangle? Like a triangle? No, it strips their flesh. Infurls them from within that they become a husk of sinew and muscle that walks back to the land from whence the rotting one came that it may do its bidding. The rotting one wishes to become whole again, right? I fear that the rotting one is consumptive. Not that it just wishes to become whole, but become all. That nothing exists outside of its grasp. And this horned king is not a god. Sorry. <laughs> I was hungry. The noodles were boiled. Hey, no problem. I'll take care of it. I don't speak Italian. <laughs> it's Italian. It's Sylvan. Whatever. Sylvan. Um, the Sicilian. One, the one thing that I uh, wanted to okay, ask you know. while yeah. Felix was touching his temples... I'm assuming, despite Ethier primarily having dealt with dead people, yeah. when I was in um, uh, Lerarain, I would assume that there, or, or even at other points, there were times where I would have come across somebody that was like unconscious in a, a, a coma of some sure. kind. Um, and I would assume that there are times when people are, especially when people are hallucinating, that like their yeah. eyes would rapid movement behind their sure. eyelids. Yeah. Trying to see if I can pick up anything from when Felix touches his head, if if it traces any symbol with his eyes jutting around, any any type of thing that like you know, to, to try to gauge some sort of recognition of, of his subconscious. This is called pentagrams on the back of his eyelid. Yeah. <laughs> He's playing Roll code. a wisdom check. Okay. That's, I know that's a weird request. No, absolutely. Don't want to have it again. Uh, it's 16 on the die and my wisdom is a plus 5. 21? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I would say that there would absolutely be a comparable sense of appearance on the visage of the individual as though like there would have been very seldom an occasion in which ether outside in labor rain or here in Oshwamp would have sound, found somebody that was comatose as opposed to sure. dead but as an individual that has now been around a party that you have had to cast spare the dying several a times and you would have so found yeah. individuals that would have been unconscious sure. in various states of in the interim between like that interstitial yeah. spot between dying and death yeah that you would recognize that when felix is tapping into the subconscious that there is definitively this like i don't want to say universal expression but like that same slackness that same looseness that an appearance or that a visage undertakes when they have exited genuine consciousness sure that I would say that that's also my thought that the, the point of like the soul leaving the body and yeah, the like yeah no no, no that absolutely of... I would say that it would have been a thing that you would have seen especially now having witnessed especially for you first person being so close to the moment of Nesgrim smiting mm -hmm. that there would be that same less less visual element of the individual but that same intuitive moment for ether as a person that is so adjusted to the concept and consequences of life and death and that transitory point that as that memory hits him and he comes back and it seems like he is slack and loose in his appearance and his demeanor that there is this sense almost like for the first time as wild as it might sound that what he does makes sense i think that's the point i would rather make sure. than anything else that there is this element of what mystically is done and exists in terms of the resonance and reverberation between two souls communicating sure. 
in regards to the projections of subconsciousness as they naturally intertwine or overlap. Sure. In the same way in which people who are very familiar with each other, like you know, I, like you guys all the time, like finish each other sentences. You guys finish each other sentences all the all the time. You can think intuitively sure. like another person. I think that that's a great way to demonstrate mysticism is an incredible, adaptable ability to be able to do that. Sure. With other individuals. And pro- possibly the assumption that when showing a vision particularly traumatic like this that there is some amount of like mental weight yeah. to it and not just yes. like yeah I'm yes. seeing and this. that's why he's like exhausted yes. afterwards of like oh my god this is such yeah. an immense moment and an experience in which I wasn't prepared like there's no oh my god we're going into a dwarven ruins we might see some shit sure. this is a man sitting in an igloo who has suddenly been shown shown sure. in true film-esque adapta- adaptation a man being ripped asunder the birth of a demon the demonstration of all of his efforts all of his years of hard work in a pursuit of what he thought sure was going in a direction being suddenly torn asunder okay like the emotional weight yeah. of that moment like yep. a, a magnitude sure um I know anyone was talking about before that question got asked. Well, he was staring blankly. Yeah, he was staring blankly and then talked about the rotting one as the rotting corpse of a god that has vines on me that are stealing its essence, consuming all things. And then you said that it was all consuming and wanted all to be. All to be. Yeah. 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 But. Do you know anyone who's been cured from the rot? I don't think I'm cured. I think I know how to delay it. Well, that is all. Just because it's been a while? Yeah. What Retora had was separate from... Oh, correct. Me. Yeah. You were stained by the defiled. Which, again, in terms of what Adrian's perspective of was the rotting one, which mm-hmm. we have now known, uh, consequently, was actually Camilla. But Camilla, Camilla was... was also stained by the rotting one. Mm-hmm. So, like, again, this is, you know, this is, uh, there's third the... degree STD. There's a web. <laughs> yeah, there's a web of STDs. Rotting one, defiled, stab, stab, the stab defiled. transmitted disease. Yeah, right? <laughs> Spiritually transmitted disease. But that, genuinely. <laughs> yeah. So, like, again... <laughs> You know, I, I respect that it's been years sorry. since like yeah, shit, Camilla I was from, doing that? Oh. Uh, from <laughs> your vision particularly <laughs> struck <laughs> and stripped of part of her flesh by the rotting ones. She seemed resilient yeah. to it. Write that down. That's good. That's good. And that was when I witnessed her. You witnessed her attempt to attack it and bite it, and again, she seemed resistant to it. And that was that was the vision from the first time she that did she that. She encountered and it. For, so when we encountered it the second time together. Correct. And she attempted to stop it from taking you. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I was real smart and tried to attack yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, I know. We were there. A long time ago, we were there. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time. We were camping. Mm-hmm. I'm a little <laughs> Italian girl. Italian. It's peaceful here. It's the Olive Garden due to some limited breadsticks. What about in the game? Exactly. <laughs> um. The rot- you say that the rotting one is is all consuming. Yes. We have um, known one other being to uh, have consumed an entire realm. What? Um, What do you mean realm? Another plane of existence. I know of no such thing that could eat a plane of existence. Not eat the plane, it is the plane. I know of no such thing. Have you heard the name Laugh before? No. 
That is, sounds quite silly. It is not. It is shadow. As it was described to me. I have not seen it myself. I do not know what you mean. I don't think he knows, but... Poor man's been traumatized. What, and what, what are you attempting to insight? Whether or not he's sincerely telling the truth in that regard? Yeah, that he genuinely doesn't know at all. 14. 16 on the die, plus 8. I told him that oh. <laughs> I told him that there was um only one other being that we know that is all consuming. Which one? <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. What do you mean? I don't want to show him that. Come on. That's uh, no 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 definitely. It's bad time. I'd be sad. Ooh, okay. Great. I do not know this name. Alright. Sticks and stones may break my bone, but names will never hurt me. That is the motto of a demon caller. Again, the name of a demon or a god gives you power over it. You must learn the truth. I think the names you know are not real. Know the true name of the being of which I speak. I dare not speak it. He didn't even know he was making demons, and you take his could word you say for it. it. Italian. I don't speak so. <laughs> what? He doesn't I speak could so. tell. He didn't the even know what he was Orkish doing in the citadel. Oh. She might trans. I don't speak Orcish. Sorry. <laughs> um. Yeah, it doesn't make much sense for me to speak it in common to you, for you to say it in Sylvan to them. Then I'm still st- say, saying it in. You'd also common. still say it in Orcish. You <laughs> could just say the name. Say what? If you said it in Orcish, you'd still be saying it. Would well, yes, not? I don't want to say it at all. It's a bad name. Just say it once. No. <laughs> you ever play charades? <laughs> Write it down. Let Ether read it. <laughs> you could think it. I could attempt to read your mind. If that's what you I'll want to try, do. I'll sure try. Yeah, right? Absolutely. Is there something like prohibiting it? You had to do it the thing. Yeah, we'll I'll, say I'll, it at the same time. I'll One, two, thoughts. three. <laughs> 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 can, I, can I actually try to deceive him with that? Yeah, sure. I'll roll inside. 13. Deception? Yeah. Deception. Not 20, not 20. Uh, 13. Oh, no. Where is it? No, it's a 11. Yes! <laughs> Always be 11. Oh. Oh, you almost got me. Oh. Said, was that set, start with an O? Uh. O? Oh. O? Oh. Oh? I don't know. Sorry. I'm just kidding. Are you reading his thoughts? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm As not, he goes to say it, we got him! So, Bam! Genuinely, are you attempting to probe deeper? Because his immediate emotional thought would be, Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Yeah, no yeah. Oh, I'm going to say it. Oh, I'm going to say it. I don't want to yeah, say he's it. He's definitely thinking it, so I'm definitely probing people. Mm, uh, was this safe for me? Yeah. I hate this. It feels I'm going to say it. <laughs> I, this save doesn't make sense. For what? The, the wisdom save yeah, number. Yeah, we talked about it before. Yeah, it's right. A plus your thing. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, Does he have right. disadvantage because of my trickery? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pa- ask. I passed the insight. I'm going to say no. Damn it. It feels better for you to roll. Okay. My wisdom mod's a four. Roll on that one. Uh, it's a 13 on the die. Oh, I'm passing! <laughs> 17, baby! Take me home! Get out of my mind. You have a hat on anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll take my hat off. I do not appreciate efforts to read my mind. I did tell you that I was going to read your mind. 
Oh, well, I mean, I, said it I don't like it anyway. That's I don't true. like it anyway <laughs> if you declare it to me beforehand. All right. It's Fair enough. kind of rude to still go through with it after I still say, please don't. My apologies. I think you said. You said that you were. You said you said please don't. I because you were going to say it, not that I shouldn't read your mind. I said I was going to say it in your mind. We no, were we I were about to say it at the same time. You there? Have you been working on your gaslighting skills? I'm loving <laughs> this for you. I you, think he did genuinely. You almost said it with me. We right, almost said it together. Let's say it again. Oh, if it All right, you ready? <laughs> what? <laughs> I already said it. Huh? Oh. Oh. And we're going to. Oh. Say it. <laughs> Damn it! That's his name, Odin. Oh, Fuck me. <laughs> god damn you. Fucking god. Why what? couldn't you just respond Grindar to him? Said it an, so entire, much. an entire campaign, you just didn't say words to the DM. <laughs> it's a fucking, character. Fucking, fucking called, god damn. Oh? Look, Grimdar said it literally all the time. I know. Okay? He said it a lot this so campaign. So much. Fucking god damn it. Good night. No. Um, <laughs> I hate this. I don't want to play. Get out of my house. <laughs> Uh, no, thank you guys very much um, for watching tonight. Uh, Night Mad Dragon, Campster993, and Weeb Panda 27 thank you very much for the follows. We appreciate it very much. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, we will, I think, be live on Friday. I've said that for the last, like, two, so who knows. Uh, <laughs> it'll be at, at 6 p.m. If we are, it'll be at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Things come up. I'm sorry. It just is... It's the world is a mess. Right. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Everything sucks. I don't know what to tell you. Wow. We're doing our best. Projecting. <laughs> no, I, I'm fine. Like no, everything's fine. The world at large fine. is we're bad. Fine. Um, but we're do we're doing our best. Um, if not, we'll see you again. Uh, are you okay next? No, are you? Okay. I didn't no. think so. We all yeah. next Monday. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Um, so not next Monday. So we'll see you at at worst in two weeks, uh, but hopefully um, this Friday. Friday and next Friday. Yeah. But uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye bye. 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 Oh.